and welcome back guess what we get to do today shell tours we get to do shell tours today <laughs> i'm really excited about this it should be very fun we're gonna get to tour some of your bills from our puzzle shell i'm just gonna really quickly um let me get the game up so you can see there never mind it got itself up <laughs> let me get the puzzle placed as well so we can look at that um we are gonna be using this puzzle shell that we made and we're gonna get to tour some of your builds and show them off on stream <laughs> i know this one was kind of a stressful experience for a lot of you so uh wish us luck but basically the shell in case you missed it was a whole bunch of rooms and the idea of the challenge is that you would try and put them together like they're puzzle pieces you know and then we would use this to build something so there was a lot more, I guess there's gonna be a lot more variation this time in people's builds than there normally is because it's it's not just one shell, you know? It's it's um, a bunch of puzzles that you can try and use. <laughs> um, so this one was kind of rough. I will say in particular, this made me want to cry. This, I don't know what I was thinking with that. I'm honestly, I'm sorry for that. Like that was not right of me to do. I'll never do it again. <laughs> Anyway, that, very stressful. Um, the rest of it, not as bad. Um, and we'll get to take a look at some of your builds. I will say, I don't know if I can stream for a ridiculously long time today. I'm just warning you right now. Um, just because, oh my god, if you only knew. I've had such a long day. <laughs> um, but anyway, we're gonna try and get through as many shell builds as we can. Obviously, always a couple disclaimers. Um, number one, we do the tours randomly, so I, I'm not gonna be picking based on people who subscribe or people who give bits. It's totally random. There's no, you like asking in chat, it's not gonna make a difference. We're gonna pick names randomly. Um, so hopefully that makes sense. Uh, I understand, obviously you want your build to be toured, but at the end of the day, we're not gonna get to them all. We just won't, it's not possible. Um, so try to not be too sad if we don't get a chance to see it on stream. Does that make sense? Um, let's let's just be excited about seeing people's builds and stuff. Let's think of the positives and not be so sad if we don't get a chance to see it because honestly, the the in all likelihood, we won't get a chance to see yours. Does that make sense? Um, and if you built something for this shell, this is the hashtag Simsy puzzle shell one, um, like the build that I just show you, showed you those little rooms. If you built something for this shell and you want us to potentially tour your build, there's a point request that you can redeem, um, the little egg points that you earn by watching the stream. Um, you can click the little egg underneath the chat and then you can press that request to tour your build and give me your EA ID, your origin ID, your like gallery account name so I can search you up and tour it. Does that make sense? Um, so that's what you need to do is, is make sure you click that and then, um, and then send in your name so that we can see. You don't see the egg. Okay, Summer, it's underneath the chat box. <laughs> if you're really confused, you can Google like how do points work on Twitch. It might circle it for you, so it'll make it more obvious, but um, hopefully that makes sense. All right, all right, all right, all right. I think on that note, we should be able to pull these up and start doing the first ones, yeah? I'm very excited. <laughs> um, let me see, ah, it's not working. Let me open the queue. Hello, 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 hello. Review, requests, queue. Okay, <laughs> um, and then we'll pull up the first one. What about bingo? So Tiara, I didn't make a bingo card this time around because I have had such a nightmare of a day <laughs> that I didn't have any time. Soon you'll understand, um, but I didn't have any time to make a bingo card. This is honestly, this week, my head's gonna explode. Like for real gonna explode. <laughs> It's gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be fine. We're gonna be okay. We're gonna get through it. But we're just gonna we're gonna enjoy some some Sims builds. You know, that is the plan. <laughs> uh, we're just gonna enjoy some Sims builds. All right. There's already um, a few hundred requests. So I just want to make make sure you're all on the same page that we're not gonna be able to get to them all. Okay. Um, we are not gonna be able to get to them all. But I'm gonna go and pull up the first one so that we can get started. Uh, and then we'll we'll go from there. And the first one is. Uh, Mycroft the Chihuahua on Twitch, and their name is Jen with a bunch of N's. <laughs> 101 on the gallery. <laughs> Let's go. Let's take a look. Imagine if the gallery stops working. That would just be too much for me. Okay. Oh, look at this! All right. This is the puzzle shell that Jen has made. 
It's a pink paradise bar. <laughs> this is so fun. It's gonna be so interesting too, seeing what everyone built, because these shells are gonna be so much different than normal. Um, since we aren't stuck with like the one room that was a puzzle, so your shapes could be a little bit different this time around, you know? Um, so that's kind of fun. I'm kind of excited about this. Is this the first one? It is the first one, yeah. We just, we literally just started. I'm gonna try and get through as many as I can. That's the other thing. I don't want it to seem like I'm, I'm like trying to get past people's builds without trying, but I just wanna make sure we can get through as many as we can. So um, hopefully you guys understand where I'm coming from with that. I just wanna make sure we can see as many as possible. <laughs> um, Louise, I didn't make a, bing a bingo card this time around. Uh, I didn't have any time today. <laughs> you'll see, you'll understand in like two days, okay? I just, I, if you only knew. <laughs> If you only knew, we don't have a bingo card, so. Anyway, no, my mods did make this puzzle. I made the puzzle this time, Raising. I made the puzzle this time. Um, but this is Jen's build. This is the Pink Paradise Bar, our first one of the day, which is very exciting. I love all this pink landscaping. This is so cool. And the, oh, the trees on the top. These are the ones from the holiday pack, right? Do you know what? I never use these. I don't even think I realized it had a pinkish swatch. That's beautiful. That's so, so, so beautiful. Also, hang on, you guys, look, listen, listen. I'm not allowed to talk about horses, okay? I'm not allowed to talk about horses. I can't answer questions about horses. I know, I know, it's so exciting. We all wanna talk about horses. I'm not allowed to. I'm not allowed to, so I, I can't answer your questions. It's just gonna get ignored. I'm sorry, I wish I could. I'm not allowed to yet. <laughs> um, so no one can talk about horses yet. So uh, if we could like, <laughs> Tone it down a little. I can't, I literally can't answer anyone's questions, okay? <laughs> um, ho hold your horses, if you will. Um, we'll get there. <laughs> I just, I just can't yet, all right? Um, we're just not able to yet. Anyway, let's take a look inside this bar. Ooh, I love the pink and black. Look at this. They made the inside into like, like there's water. Is that water? Am I, yeah, it is water. I was like, am I imagining that? It's like a, like a pool, fish tank, something. They have some flowers in the middle. We've got all these cool seats around. I like this accent with the pink stripes. I never use that. What are these? Most loyal employee award. Oh my God, that's from Snowy Escape. I never use that. Do you know what? That's That works so well for this. We've obviously got some tables. They put a rose on this table. We got some karaoke. Uh, when you go upstairs, look at this really beautiful like plants on top of that fountain area. There's some like dragonflies and things floating inside. We got all this cool pink. I love the hot pink accents. I feel like it's not so easy. Um, it's not so easy to make hot pink work, you know? So it's quite cool what you managed to do with the hot pink in here. Love the pride flag. This is really nice. I'm really excited about the shape that you did. It's so, it's just so interesting to see how different all of these shapes are and like see how different people manage to use them. Look, that weird diagonal part, they've got it up here. That's so good. That's so good. I really, really, really like this. Good first build. This is exciting. Obsessed with the pink. <laughs> That was from uh, Jen with four ends, 101 on the gallery is who built that one. Okay, I'm trying to get through as many as we can <laughs> um, to the best of my ability, all right? So bear with me here. <laughs> uh, bear with me here. I, I swear I'm gonna try my absolute best. Uh, the next one is Kitten Panda on the gallery. Their Twitch name is Kitten, Kitten Panda Arts. Let's go take a look, shall we? Uh-oh. Oh no, it is showing up. Okay, good. You know how usually it pops up with the search bar? Uh-oh. Yeah, you can delete the interior walls this time around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's That was the rules that we had is you could delete the interior walls because some of the rooms were quite small. So you'd have like a, a one tile wide room. It would be quite hard to, to do without deleting the interior walls. So we let people do that. All right, here's Kitten Pandas. It's a house. Okay, let's go take a look. Um, New Crest. New crest. All right, I'm ready. <laughs> you didn't delete the walls? That was brave of you, and you should be proud that you didn't. It's kind of a fun, like, added challenge to not delete them, you know? So it isn't a bad thing. You did it on hard mode. That's kind of exciting, to be honest. 
Oh, wait, look, they put, I never use this. I never use the water balloons. How fun to add that in the front yard. And we have the little gnomes in the front yard as well with some planter boxes and a bike. That's such a fun, like realistic detail, you know? I love the flower boxes you have. Around the side, we've got like a little back patio. We've got a murder uh, device. <laughs> <laughs> There's a grill. I love this toddler thing. Even the sprinkler. I never use the sprinkler. I should probably make more of an effort to use that sprinkler more often as well. We have a pool in the back. Oh, and we have the... Oh, this is such a fun gameplay house. We've got everything in this. Love that. All right, let's see the floor plan. What do we got? Oh, this is nice. Okay, so you walk in, we've got a little entrance right here. They put some shoes by the door and everything. Uh, and then we have a big open like living kitchen dining space. So we have a little living room over here in the corner. We got a piano. Uh, we have a nice dining table. Look, they put all these toys. There's like some kids toys downstairs. That's so realistic. We have a little corner for the kids. We got a bathroom downstairs. I love this kitchen. You know I love the parenthood counters. They're my favorite ones in the whole game. I just love them so much, they're so nice. And then we also have what looks like the primary bedroom downstairs. So we've got a nice big bedroom and an ensuite bathroom down here for the primary bedroom. Look at all this clutter, that's so nice. That is so, so, so nice. Um, upstairs, we have a little hallway. Look at this bedroom! Do you know what? This bunny has such fun swatches. That is a nice object. This was from, believe it or not, years and years ago. <laughs> they used to do these like limited time events in, uh, in The Sims. And so they had this like decorative eggs collection, egg event around Eastern time, Eastern, <laughs> I meant Easter. Uh, I live in the Eastern time zone though. But around Eastern time they had these like uh, little events where you try and collect the eggs. And then if you finished it, you would get this bunny unlocked. Very weird, because now you have to do a cheat, like ignore gameplay unlocks to see it. But it's a nice, it's a nice stuffed animal. It's cute. Also, I like that they managed to fit this giant thing in here. Cause I feel like I have a hard time putting the tent in my like Sims bedrooms, you know? Like usually the tents end up going outside, like in the backyard, <laughs> just stick it in the patio. I have a hard time fitting it in bedrooms. So that's impressive that managed to. Um, we've got a little bathroom upstairs. They have this like kind of weird shaped room because of the diagonal, but they made it into an art studio, which is so smart. I feel like I just owe everyone an apology. I owe everyone an apology for the diagonal shape that I had. Honestly, that was just, that was messed up. It was messed up. But anyway, and oh look, they have like a, a, a storage room sink uh, across the, uh, in, sorry, inside of the art studio, which is pretty realistic. Uh, and then we've got another kid's bedroom over here. I like the space theme, that's cool. And then we have a little bathroom, Jack and Jill bathroom between them. That's such a nice, nice floor plan. Oh, you made yours into a center without triangle couch. That's pretty smart too. Um, This sink is from Seasons? A eco lifestyle. Do you know what? I never knew it had this rainbow swatch. Oh my god. This is the thing when we do these shell challenges. I feel like I see so many things that I never knew existed before. I had no idea this had that cute rain rainbow swatch. That's so nice for an art studio. It's just cute. That's really cute. This is a nice house. It's so realistic too. It feels like Sims actually live here, you know? All right. Sorry to move on so quick, but I wanna make sure we get through as many as we can. All right, all right. The next one is Mag Pumpkin Lady. Um, and their gallery name is MG here. Let's check it out. Oh, they made a modern house. Yes. All right. <laughs> This was done on ultra hard mode, no repeats, no interior wall deletions or flips. Oh my God. And they made it for their not so berry gen nine. Okay, this is gonna be fun. So it's for green, not so berry. On ultra hard mode. Let's go take a look. <laughs> Let's go see what we got. All right, a lot of people did that without deleting interior walls and stuff. So we'll see what they managed to make happen. That is a challenge indeed. Uh, but yeah, I think a lot of people did the like hard mode, so I didn't even I didn't even try that. I think I would have cried if I did. 
<laughs> you didn't flip or delete walls, but you did repeat rooms. That makes sense. That makes sense. Look at this with the green. Do you know what? This dark green wallpaper, this stucco from, um, from Jungle Adventure is really nice. I feel like I forgot about that swatch. And we have some nice stone downstairs. Do you know what? Considering they didn't repeat anything at all, this is a really nice exterior layout. I feel like that turned out really well. So we have kind of a nice pathway. There's landscaping around the side. In the back, we have a pool. There's a dance floor and a DJ booth. We have this huge bar. I like this, this little nook as well, because they had that weird hole from the from the shell, and so they put it on purpose to put like the bar stuff in. That's so nice. All right, let's take a look inside. So you walk in here. Oh my God, look at all their rooms. They did a good job with this. Okay, sorry. So in here, they turned this room into a little entryway. Do you know what? I always forget about this thing from Snowy Escape too. That looks good there in the corner. We've got some swords on the wall. You know what? I don't use that enough either. <laughs> this is from, it's like a prop from uh, the fame pack from Get Famous, but it looks pretty fun. All right, so you go through there, through the entryway into the little dining room and they made a custom rug as well. What an interesting shape. Oh, sorry, I'm yawning, uh-oh. Okay, sorry. We have swords? No way. <laughs> I know, you forget about that stuff, don't you? So we have this nice dining room uh, and then it kind of goes into a hallway that takes you to the kitchen. And they cluttered up the kitchen so much! Oh, because the sim is quite messy. That's like part of the challenge. So they've got like a pizza box and all of these like old cans and stuff everywhere. That's so cute. That's so cute. Obviously it's all green for Not So Berry as well. Okay, down the hallway also we have this like gaming room. Iconic. Look at all the gaming trophies they have because they're an esports professional. I love they've got two gaming setups. We've got a cow plant poster and this thing. Do you know what? This item is great for this generation. That's so fun. They even have like old soda cans and like jars of candy around in here <laughs> sitting on the desk. That's so realistic. Uh, we have a bathroom right here as well uh, off of that room. And then down here, we've got the living room. I'm obsessed with the plant wall. That's amazing. So good for not so berry. We've got some games out and everything. Um, if you go upstairs, we've got a little hallway. It looks like we've got a kid's bedroom here. Look at that. What poster is that? Oh, it's High School Years. Do you know what? High School Years has so many good posters. Look at this. They've got all these little boy critter things. That's so cool. Uh, and then down here, look, they made the triangle space into a bathroom. That's actually so smart because you come, we have this huge bedroom, right? The primary bedroom. Uh, they've got like a little hallway space with a closet. And then the bathroom's right there. Do you know what? That is so smart. What a nice use of the space. How did they manage this so well? Look at this bar also. If you say, do you know what, one more time. Okay, there's no need to be rude. <laughs> Please don't make fun of what I'm saying. It's really hard to do these to do these tours, so sorry if I repeat myself. Please don't laugh at me, I might cry. <laughs> I'm really anxious today. <laughs> anyway, this was built by uh, MG here on the gallery. M-G-H-E-E-R on the gallery. And their name on Twitch is Mag Pumpkin Lady. It's really nice, I'm really impressed. I love the green. Not so berry is just so fun. It's such a good, a good, um, honestly doing a shell challenge for a sim that you're actually playing with is very brave and I respect it. Cause I would not, <laughs> I would not. <laughs> um, I'm too, shell challenges cause me too much stress to, to like actually use them for a sim that I'm playing with, you know? Okay, okay, the next, uh, the next one we're gonna do is from DragonLady1212 on Twitch, and their name is Ryuheim12 on the gallery. Let's go look. Is Kayla lagging for anyone else? Uh-oh, I actually did drop some frames just then, but I don't think that it was too bad. Pagoda National Park? No way. 
Your Simsy puzzle shawl ended up being a Japanese-style pagoda. It's a national park, but meets the requirements for a museum and wedding view venue. Okay, I need to um, evict the Sims in Mount Komorebi on this 50 by 50 lot so that we can place it over here. That's cool. Let's go see. Let's go see. I'm excited. <laughs> See, it's just so cool what people do for these builds, like how, how different they all end up being. We've seen a couple now and every single one is like completely different from the previous. It's so cool. It's so, so, so cool. All right. It's huge. Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Look at that. Okay, so... Where, okay, where, where do I even begin? Um, <laughs> when you first walk up, uh, obviously we have the entrance into the building. I kind of want to look around the exterior of the lot first. First of all, there is a moat. The whole place has a big giant lake around here, which is so beautiful. Um, around the back, we've got some beautiful landscaping and decorations. There's some cool statues in the water. Oh my God, stop yelling, Kayla. Sorry, I've not been sleeping for days. I'm good. Drink water, focus. All right, <laughs> over here, we have a really beautiful wedding venue set up. Oh my God, look at that. Do you know what? I never used this item from, from the wedding pack. That is so amazing. That just looks so pretty with the pink accents and everything. What a lovely spot to get married. So down here, we've got another garden section, sort of. There's like a park area for you to sit and grill because it's set as a national park right now. So we've got like the grills and trash cans and stuff. And then we have, I love this, like with the deck and the pathway. What a cool shape. How do people decide to do this? Like, how do you, where, how does this come to you? That's so awesome. All right, and then actually inside, like in the main building, obviously, they said it's got the lot requirement stuff for, did they say for it to be a lounge? Oh, I still have the mod to like add extra lot types. So disregard this very long list, okay? <laughs> but it could be a wedding venue too, I think they said. So it's got all the stuff you need for that. That's so fun. Museum, that's what it was. It could be a museum. It can be a museum also. So it's got all the art and stuff that you need. This is amazing. We got some vending machines. We got places to sit. Look, look, the museum in here. So they have the little signs. Look at all this. There's bathrooms right in the middle, obviously. And there's even a kitchen so you can have Sims cook if you're gonna have a wedding here. We've got a bar and a dance floor outside so you can have your wedding. And then upstairs, uh, there's some more. Oh, it's like a community center vibe over here because we've got the little kid spaces, but there's more artwork. I love seeing what people do with this. I love seeing this because they have like these weird little nooks with bamboo in them and all the details. This must have been so fun to build. I, I imagine the exterior took them a very long time. Uh, this is built by Ryuheim12 on the gallery. Their name is Dragon Lady 1212 on Twitch. I am extremely impressed with every single build we have seen today. I mean, just look at that. How is that even possible? There's even a third or a, a third floor. Well, that's amazing. <laughs> and it's, I really like having multi-purpose builds like that where you can use them for more than one thing. Cause there's not really, I mean, we're having more and more lots obviously in The Sims 4, but there's not really that many lots in The Sims 4. So it's nice to have stuff that you can repurpose, like use it for a wedding, use it for a museum. So you can do multiple things with it, you know? All right. The next one that we're gonna go see is from Summer Alyssa on, on Twitch and on the gallery. Let's go take a look. Yeah, the puzzle shell has been pretty cool, hasn't it? It's fun because there's there's like just more wiggle room for, for what you're building when you do the puzzle shell. Let me go to their gallery page so I can see it. Sometimes I struggle to find which one is the is the puzzle, you know? This is it, this is the first one. It's extra hard with the puzzle because they're all different. With regular shells, it's sometimes more obvious which one is which. <laughs> it's a blue Victorian, you know the way to my heart. Just a cozy family home, definitely no creepy attic. 
Okay. <laughs> uh, sure. De definitely no creepy attic, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> we'll see about that. We'll see about that one. <laughs> I like when there's creepy stuff going on. Yeah, Summer in chat says, yes, nothing weird at all. Okay, sure. I love the blue, by the way. I really like this, the new siding that comes with um, the Growing Together pack is really nice. It just has so many good swatches. So we have this lovely wraparound porch. We got a big chimney. I'm in the back. We've got a nice backyard with some planter boxes and a swing set. We've got a little back patio with a chess table and some gardening supplies. That's so nice. All right, inside the house. Ooh, okay. So when you first walk in, we have this lovely entryway. There's even a piano in the corner. We've got this really nice dining room. Even the pets have a place to dine in the dining room. I love the pastels. Okay, this rug also, this is from, do you know what? I don't think I've ever used this swatch of the rug from Cottage Living. I really like that. I, I realize that I probably shouldn't be sitting here getting excited about more blue things that I can use, <laughs> but I am. I am getting excited about more blue things that I can use. <laughs> Will Horse Ranch early access be today? Oh, good God, no. You wouldn't know if it was gonna be today. It's not today. I can't talk about Horse Ranch, unfortunately, you guys. I can't answer your questions, uh, but it's not gonna be today. Obviously, if it was, it would be in the stream title and stuff. We're doing shell challenge tours today from our most recent uh, shell challenge that we did. Uh, back here, we have a little blue kitchen, which for a person who loves blue, I never use this swatch of the counter with the blue counters, and I really actually like it. I think that's so nice. In here, we've got a little bathroom. They paired the Realm of Magic tile with the high school years one. That looks nice. In here, we have the little living room space. We've got a cat tree. Oh, do you know what? This cabinet also, I never use that. That's nice, that's from Paranormal. We should use that more often. Okay, they also put the little like Alexa speaker. <laughs> and in here we have this really lovely pink office space. I love that. They even put, I never really use the um, meditation stools. I should put them more often because they're quite small so you can fit them around places pretty easily. So anyway, upstairs, upstairs, we've got a little hallway and a few bedrooms. So in this hallway, there's just like a little bit of decorations. It looks like a lot of cat stuff in this house. And they added in an extra picture. I always, can I just say, I like this gallery wall. I want to like this gallery wall. It's not, I'm not like, this is meant to hate on them. It's just meant to like complain about the Sims. I hate that it's not a square. I guess maybe it's nice for like up staircases and stuff, but I like even they had to add an extra painting so it looks full. I wish, I really, really, really wish that it wasn't, you know, lopsided. <laughs> but whatever, it looks nice how they use it, so. But I never, I never use that because of, because I don't like the shape that much. You like it because you got other stuff in? Yeah, I guess that makes sense romantic because you can fit in your own stuff a little bit more easily, but I don't know. I prefer squares. <laughs> in here we've got a little bedroom and a suspicious ladder. Okay, we'll come back to that. I love the pink though. This chair is so fun. The chair is so nice. We've got this little bedroom too for a kid. The pastel pop kit has such nice wallpaper. We got baby Yoda in here. <laughs> and then we have this primary bedroom. Uh, they have their own balcony with another death trap outside. Everybody uses these death traps. It's quite nice. Love, 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 love. Okay. And then upstairs, we've been told the attic is not creepy. Can't say I agree. <laughs> There's a coffin and a skeleton. <laughs> There's a coffin and a haunted painting and a skeleton. I love it. I love it. This is your time, you know? If you're gonna put a scary attic, this would be the place, you know? It's a normal, casual bedroom. I do like having attic spaces because it is actually nice to have spots for the decoration box. I always, like, I never build in spots for the decor box. 
I feel like I need to make more of an effort to do that because I usually just end up putting it like on the back patio. But this is nice. And then if you've got a vampire, they've got a spot to live. It's beautiful. Beautiful. I like this house. I like the shape a lot with the tower and everything. It's really nice. Okay. Sorry, I'm not trying to go fast, but I am a little bit, so we can get through as many as possible. That was Summer Alyssa on the gallery. Summer with three M's Alyssa on the gallery is who built that one. Okay, now we're going to Pink Butterfly 716. Pink Butterfly 716. Vampire guest room, so considerate, I know. <laughs> Look, they do a bunch of our shell challenges. That's so, I love seeing people when they do like multiple of our shells. It's so nice. Okay, this is from Pink Butterfly 716. Looks can be deceiving sometimes. Dark outside, all pink inside. Yes. <laughs> We've seen two pink builds today now. That's iconic. All right, let's go place this one down. Let's go see. Uh, new crest. I'll go place it over there. This 40 by 30 lot should be good. I can make that work. All right. All right. <laughs> okay, I love when people have pink accents. So this is the outside. Look at, I love the black wallpaper. Do you know what? I never, oh, I said, do you know what again? My bad. I never use this from Spooky Day. It actually looks really good on the outside of this house with these big black windows. I need to make more of an effort with that. Maybe I should do an all black house soon because that looks really nice. All right, but this is the exterior. We have my favorite object in the entire of The Sims 4. It is in fact a shark pond. <laughs> uh, in the back, do you know what? I said it again. Mm. They use this. This is the second person today to use this tree and I never use this. I never use this. This is the pre-strung lights from the holiday pack. I never, ever, ever use it. And it does look so nice, doesn't it? We have to make more of an effort with that too. Okay, in the back, we have a huge pool. We've got a swing set, some pretty pink flowers and lounge chairs and stuff. I like these pink lights up to the pathway. That's pretty nice. A little table back here. We have a cauldron. That's fun. All right, and then when you actually come inside, look at the pink interior. Oh my God. <laughs> I love this. I love this tree by the by the living or by the sorry by the kitchen. That's cute. I need to use these like decals more in living spaces because that pink one looks so pretty. We have this pretty pink tile. I always forget this is the one from the kitchen kit. I forgot it had a pastel pink floor. That that kind of changes things. Interesting. Write that down too, okay? <laughs> write that down, write that down. That's gorgeous. Over here we have a little living room area. We have some pretty like leaf curtains. We have a desk for a gamer. <laughs> uh, we have a little bathroom. I'm sorry about this triangle room, honestly. I don't know what I was thinking. Every time I see it, I'm like, why did I do that to them? What, what is wrong with me for doing that to them? But they have a triangle room shaped bathroom. It actually looks pretty good. You should be sorry. <laughs> I like the pink swatch of this light too. That's nice. I didn't know it had a pink swatch. I like this part as well. This is another weird shaped room that I added, but they made it into like a all glass sunroom. Like how amazing is that? That's so cool. All right, and then upstairs. Oh, look at that, it's lofted. We have a huge lofted space, amazing. We got a pride flag. We have a bunch more cat space and a bathroom, little balcony, which I don't think I've ever used this tile in that black swatch either. That looks pretty good. And look, they made a canopy with the lights over the bed. Oh my God, this is so good. I love the pastel pink. I love the contrast too of like the all black outside and the pretty pastel pink inside. That's so nice. You guys know, I'm so easily swayed by pink. I see pink and I'm into it. <laughs> no questions asked. By the way, this was built by user pinkbutterfly716. Pinkbutterfly716, how cool is that? <laughs> That's so fun. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. That's amazing. Okay, let's go to the next one. 
Yeah, the lofted is quite cool, isn't it? Yeah. Oh my. The next one is Little Dika. Everyone, hold your breath, literally. It's probably gonna smell in there. He always makes stinky, scary bathrooms. <laughs> rigged, rigged, rigged. The next one is Little Dika. I'm excited about this, though. Oh. See? Trash. Nowadays, the once booked and busy San Myshuno community pool is a hangout space for those who dare to trespass its highly secured doors. Rebellious teens and stressed out adults alike will find peace of mind with the sounds of the creature infested waters of the giant state of the art pool. All you have to do is get used to the smell. What did I say? What did I say? I said, hold your breath. <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> That's so funny. All right, here we go. <laughs> creature infested. Oh no. Okay, 30 by 30. It's, it, that's the wrong world. I meant San Myshuno, not Del Sol Valley. The water's got friends? Oh. Okay. <laughs> I don't see any creatures. So it should be all right. Should be all right. Okay, here's the main building. It's like an old community center. Look at this! Don't go in there. <laughs> I like how the outside looks quite pristine. But then there's like these barriers and signs saying not to go in. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't go in either. I love how the furniture has been just like all pulled into this one room. So there's kind of like an entry space right here. You come to the side, we got some old vending machines. There's trash on the floor. We have a mattress pile of trash. What debug is that from? That's nice. Old bathtub. There's stuff growing out of this one. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. Okay, through here, uh, we've got just sort of like a hallway. We have locker rooms this way. Oh, that makes sense. Oh, it's doors that take you to the locker rooms. Okay. We've got locker rooms in here. The locker rooms are quite clean. Almost suspiciously clean. He says, see, the bathrooms are clean this time. <laughs> Dika, you went the, you, when you said you went the opposite direction, usually Dika makes like nice builds with nasty bathrooms. This time he made a nasty build with nice bathrooms. <laughs> he flipped it around. Uno reverse. <laughs> the one thing we weren't expecting is a clean shower. And would you look at that? Amazing, amazing. Oh my God. Okay, upstairs, absolutely disgusting, horrifying. This place is scary. Do you know, the shape of the build is really beautiful though. I like this, this roof color. You did a good job. A scary job, but a good job nonetheless. You didn't repeat anything or flip, nice. I like the cracks in the tile. I also, like you went down, you even put stains around the edge of the pool and these drains by the pool, that's quite smart. I didn't even like ever consider that. That's really detailed. It's okay, Swinton. I know you didn't mean any harm. It's okay. It's okay. Don't worry. It's not you. Don't worry. <laughs> you didn't do anything wrong. Don't worry about it. Anyway, this is horrible, Dika. You should be horrified by what you've done. Absolutely horrified. <laughs> this is made by, by little Dika on the gallery, by the way. <laughs> do you think the cracks are where the creatures come out? Ew! Ew, that's horrible. Horrible, horrible, horrible. Okay, okay. The next one, the next one is Mystical Wolf. And directly above Mystical Wolf is Goose Kingdom. So maybe I'll do Goose Kingdom next. I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> All right, here we have the Cruise Estate. 
Oh, you and your husband were looking at a home to build and came across a blueprint called Simsy Puzzle Shell and knew we had to buy it. We vowed to keep all the walls when the puzzle was put together. <laughs> we just recently adopted a little girl and boy. Names are Emma and Tony. Can't wait to see them grow in our new home. That's so cute. I like the story behind this. All right, let's take a look. This is a 30 by 20 lot in Oasis Springs. Uh-oh. Gallery, please. Gallery, please. Ga gallery? Oh, it started not responding for a sec, but it got there. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whoa, that could have been bad. All right, let's put it over here. The gallery's been bad for you today? Uh-oh. It would be just our luck that, like, the one day I'm trying to use the gallery all day, it would just break. Because of course it would, but it didn't, it didn't, so it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Everything's fine. All right, this is Mystical Wolf's build. Mystical with a Q, though, instead of a C. Ooh. I like this roof tile. These are solar shingles, too, so it produces power for your sims. That looks nice. Oh, I love this little front porch. I love when there's like side entrances, you know, where there's like a side over here that takes you up to the front porch. They've got some lounge chairs and a couch built in. I like it when people put detail into their porches. Okay, around the back. <gasps> Whoa. Whoa. Okay, around the back, we have this amazing pool and hot tub area. Look at that in the corner with the hot tub. Oh. Okay, we have this really nice pool. And then you come downstairs, right? We have this really nice little patio space with an outdoor kitchen and some tables and some toys. There's like a fountain space with a pirate ship diorama. What is that? Look at this debug item to put plants in the corner. This is so cool. Okay, and then down here in the backyard, there's like some little plants and some toys for the kids. There's like a sandbox. We've got a splash pad. I like the idea of putting a slide in the splash pad. And we've got these cute little like decals by it as well. This looks amazing. I love how split level the backyard is. That's pretty cool. And then when you actually come inside the house, you walk in here into a kitchen. It's all pretty and orange. I, I like the combo of this tile with the orange as well. That's really nice. It's even got food. Ben made us some grand breakfast. <laughs> I love when people have little things like that so I can see their Sims names. <laughs> it makes me feel excited. Okay, and then through here, we've got a little dining room space with a bar. We've got, I'm sorry, my diagonal room is a bathroom. Most people, it seems, have made this horrible diagonal into a bathroom, which I respect. I respect. And then through here, there's like a little hallway that's a shared desk. Oh, it's like a shared office space. Okay, and then in here we have the living room. I love the color scheme in here. They, they really went like all out, and I really think it's pretty cool. So we have like a black and white living room space. Unfortunately, Lil Simsy put a really horrible room shape, so they've turned it into a laundry room and hallway into this bedroom. Look at these rugs! They stacked them. That's pretty cool. And they have a closet as well. That's really nice. And then through there, we can access this beautiful ensuite bathroom. This is so not so very. I'm sorry, this room is amazing. With the platform for the bathtub, these cool mint, like, things, rugs under the floor, all the decor. We've got stuff in this bay window. The sink. This is so fun. This is so fun. The walk-in shower as well. Even with the mint door. This must have been so fun to build. The color scheme is just so cool. Okay. And then back in the living room, we can go through here into a hallway. We've got a little kid's bedroom that's kind of space themed. Look at that. We have a lot of space stuff now, don't we? You almost forget, but we have all of these like space decor items. There's really a lot. And then uh, if you go through here, we've got another bedroom for a kid. This one's all purple. 
I like the platform for the toddler bed and they put a little pillow and a toy on the end of the bed. That's cool. This is a cool layout for a house and the color is so fun. I bet this was so fun to build. I think, I think my favorite part, to be honest, is the backyard, but also this bathroom. There's something about this bathroom that I just love. I think it, this might be one of my favorite colors, this sort of minty color. I like that. That's really nice. Okay. Okay. Shall we head out and go to the next one? That was Mystical Wolf. And like I said, directly above Mystical Wolf on the list is Hope. Goose Kingdom. So perhaps that means it should be Hope's time to shine. No pressure, Hope. Ranchington Ranch. <laughs> It's the Ranchington Ranch. Okay. When Lucy Ranchington inherited her grandpa's ranch, her, immediately, her immediate thought was that money would have been much more convenient and decidedly less smelly. <laughs> However, now that she has started to fix it up, she can see the charm and maybe having things to care for was just what she needed. And if she looks a little harder, maybe she can find some of the money she always thought Grandpa Ranchington was sitting on. All right, Hope is ready for the horse pack, apparently. This is a 40 by 30 lot in, it looks like Windenburg. I'm lost. That was my comment. Okay, sorry, Christine, I did copy you. I did copy you. Look, I already have to say all these things on stream. I shouldn't have to think up comments as well. <gasps> oh, hope she made a fake horse farm. Oh my god, this is so fun. Look, 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 look with the jumps. She used fences to look like jumps for the horsies. <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> I love that. In the back, we have a little barn. We've got kind of a garden off to the side. Okay, inside the... <gasps> I'm telling you, this is making my day. This is absolutely making my day. Hope, this is so fun. <laughs> wow, everyone, the horse pack is out. Early access to the horse pack. You can see it right here. <laughs> Live early access footage. <laughs> That's amazing. I like these doors too. These doors look like barn doors, which is pretty fun. These are from the uh, industrial loft kit, believe it or not, but they work so perfectly for this. We've got a bunch of storage in here too, which is pretty nice. Uh, we also have space for the chickens and... <laughs> and Hope has turned my weird diagonal room into a space for a llama. We've got water, <laughs> we've got hay. <laughs> oh, I love this. I love this little setup for the movies, obviously. Uh, around here in the back, we've got some laundry. It seems as though perhaps Grandpa Ranchington did in fact have more money than we thought. Yeah, I heard you say that, Hope, how you had filled it, but then on the gallery it doesn't save the stuff that you put in there. But I believe you. I believe that it was full. We can blame the gallery. We got swing sets in the front. Okay, and then the actual house has a super cute wraparound porch, which I love. And then you walk inside. We've got a little living room, kitchen, dining space. I like how small the house is. Is that Grandpa? Right there. Oh, I like what you did with these things hanging on the fireplace too. That's cool. I just love seeing people's builds. I just think it's so fun. We've got a bathroom over here. Oh, we got some soap and stuff on the counter. We have a lovely green bathtub. Upstairs, we have just the one bedroom with a little easel in the corner and stacks of books and stuff. I like this, how you hung the bags on the stair railing. That's so nice. 
Hope, you did a really good job. My favorite part is the barn. I, this I am obsessed with. This is so cool. <laughs> so this is built by Goose Kingdom, whose name is Hope Delaney on the gallery. Hope Delaney is her name on the gallery. <laughs> I don't know, it's just amazing. Everything about it is so fun. You should be proud. The horses are the best part, for sure. <laughs> Somebody was like, is this really the horse pack? No, sorry to, to tell you all, this is not really the horse pack, but it is, it is funny to joke about. <laughs> it is funny to joke about. Clearly, this is the horse pack. These are horses in The Sims 4. <laughs> the bookshelf bench. Bookshelf bench? Where? It's downstairs. Bookshelf bench. Oh, bookshelf bench! Oh, look at that! That's nice. That's so cute. I love seeing people's builds. Shell tours are so fun. Okay, annoyingly, ads are going to play. So bear with me for a sec, okay, everybody? Um, once they're over, we'll, we'll tour the next build, all right? Uh, let me get the next one pulled up then. Okay, I'm ready. Now's a good time to drink some water. When's the horse pack coming? It comes out on Thursday, Kayla. So uh, just a couple days from now, the horse pack comes out. Which is very, very, very exciting. Think there was a basement? I don't think there was, Emily. I'm pretty sure there wasn't a basement. I think I checked. I think I uh, like went down and there wasn't one, but I could be wrong. No basement from the creator herself. Okay, there you go. That's good to know. No basement. <laughs> also, thank you all for the subs and stuff, by the way, today. I really, really do appreciate it. I'm sorry. I know I haven't had it. I've not been... I'm sorry. <laughs> I've not been doing some reading. <laughs> but that's okay. Um, I think that perhaps... Let me get this thing ready so that we're on time for the next one. The ads are going to be over in 40 seconds. That's okay. We'll wait. We shall wait. How snap? She's doing good, organic. She's doing good, which is very exciting. So, <laughs> um, mush potato. How many builds have we toured so far? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure. I couldn't tell you. Some handful of them. I'm not sure. <laughs> It all happened so fast. All right, the next one we're gonna go do though is Bookfan08, and their name is the same on Twitch as it is on the gallery. So, Bookfan08 is the next build that we're gonna do. And this is their puzzle. Look how many shells they do. They do like everybody's shells. Shellas, we got Zeph's, Stevens. That's so cool. That's so cool. Okay, this is the Simsy puzzle shell. It's a cozy family home with rooms for students to rent. That's cool. All right, let's go to Brindleton Bay. And then we'll come over here. Okay, nice. <laughs> yeah, I know, Grace, it's so fun to see people's builds. I really enjoy getting a chance to look around at people's stuff. Okay. Okay. Uh, so here is the finished product. I just want to say I'm so sorry about my shell shapes, honestly. I love the exterior of this though. I really like these windows, this swatch combined. The stuff from Growing Together is so good. It's so, 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 so good. It just looks so nice. Seraphine, I, guys, this sucks so much. The fact that we're not allowed to talk about when we can show horse pack content is so annoying because literally everyone asks every single day and everyone knows that people got early access. So there's no point in not saying, but I'll tell you this, I'm doing this today. Tomorrow I'm playing Among Us and the horse pack comes out on Thursday. So let's infer. <laughs> Um, I, it's very annoying, but you know what I mean? <laughs> um, not a lot to talk about it, but let's infer when we're allowed to show things. Does that make sense? Um, not, it's not very early, early access this time. Sometimes we can show stuff a few days early, not this time, annoyingly, obviously, because we're not 
doing it today. So, Ingrid, thank you for the 14 months. And Abby, hello, thank you for the raid. We're doing shell challenge tours today. So we're touring around some viewers' builds. Uh, we're just tuning, tuning into this one right now. We just got here, so we're kind of looking around. Look at this floor plan. This is kind of a cool shape. So when you walk in, we have a little like living kitchen dining space. We've got a dining room here, living room in the nook back here, and a dining room back here. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that I put all these diagonal walls in the shell. I Each time I see it, I'm like, oh my god, why did I do that to them? Because <laughs> I just know that it hurt you. I just know and I'm, I just want you to know I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. <laughs> Over here we've got a little bedroom. I love this little like closet space we've got. Downstairs we've got another kids bedroom space too. There's a bathroom. And then upstairs we've got, oh my god, because it's student housing, isn't it? So there's another kitchen space upstairs. This is sort of like apartment style, isn't it? So we have like this this kitchen with this house, this bedroom over here, and then we've got this bedroom. That's really cool. Is this like the RA's space? So the the dorm people share all these other stuff, and then the R the RA has their own kitchen <laughs> in the student housing. This is some nice student housing. I like that. That's a cool idea. It's fun to build student housing type stuff. You don't get the whole no kitchens and uni halls we have in the UK. Yeah, Pixie, a lot of a lot of um, dorms in the US will be kind of like this, where there's like one kitchen and then a bunch of shared bedrooms. Or for the most part, like in my dorm building when I was in college, we didn't have any kitchen at all in the entire building. A lot of dorms will have like one kitchen that the whole building shares. But I think most people don't use it because sometimes it's kind of like icky in there. Most people will have like a meal plan and eat at the cafeteria on campus and stuff because they're trying to get you to buy the meal plan. Um, I didn't have a meal plan. I literally ate with a microwave and a mini fridge for my whole freshman year of college. <laughs> um, but yeah, we didn't have a kitchen at all. So that's very common in America to not have kitchen access. So that's why The Sims has done that. I think that honestly, it, oh, the meal plans are very expensive, yeah. Um, you could cook way cheaper if you had your own kitchen. But I think that's what The Sims was going for when they had, like, no stoves allowed, because they're trying to get you to get out and go to the, like, student commons space. But anyway, that was from Bookworm. Um, that was really cool. I love the concept. And I'm going to move on to the next one now. Hopefully I'm not speeding past any of these too much. I'm trying to, like, time it well, so we're putting, like, a decent amount of time on each one, but also you know, seeing as many as possible. <laughs> so the next one is Sorcery Prince. Ooh. Hey, Petite, thank you so much. Shell tours are, favorite, are your favorite, very inspiring. I know, isn't it so nice? It's just such good vibes doing these shell tours. But thank you, thank you for that hype chat. Okay, this is the Simsy puzzle shell. The trees are covering everything. I'm excited to see it. This is gonna be cool. After a tragic accident that was not her fault, Janessa is now widowed and childless. Oh my god. <laughs> to escape the bad of her past life, and definitely not the law, Janessa has fled the country to start something new. <laughs> oh. Okay. So she definitely didn't do anything wrong. Nothing to see here. Nothing at all to see here. Interesting. I love a backstory. Although I'm not sure that this the Sims who were involved love this backstory. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Nothing to see here, only innocence in this space. <laughs> Place your bets now. Are there gonna be skeletons in this one? Almost oh, definitely, right? Oh, this is cute. I like the little exterior. We have a cute little garage and stuff. There's a courtyard in the middle. Oh, that's a fun idea. That is a fun idea. We've got a little pond in the back. Okay, I'm not seeing anything scary, thankfully. Oh. I should have shut my mouth. I spoke too soon. <laughs> I spoke too soon. I'm like, I'm not seeing anything scary. Oh, gravestones. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, who do you think they belong to? 
inside the first thing i saw was this tragic clown sculpture and i immediately grew alarmed but the sim is a sculptor they've moved out to the woods to to pursue their hobbies and and not for any other reason it was specifically just to pursue hobbies sculpting hobbies nothing else to see here <laughs> So through here, we've got a hallway space. There's a little closet and we have the garage, which is so cute. There's some bikes outside too. I love that. I love the garage idea. We have, it looks like sort of a living room area over here, or at least a bedroom with a living space, which is pretty nice. They've got all their stuff they need. They have a walk-in closet and we also have this cute pink bathroom. I like all the shelf clutter. That's so nice. And then we can walk through this long hallway and this long hallway will take you back to the main space so you can access the backyard or the courtyard from this and this is cool because they didn't uh, delete any walls so they've kept all of my original walls um, from the puzzle shell so that makes it a lot harder to do when they kept them all i love the courtyard concept so we have over here this hallway takes you to a bathroom we also have this living room uh oh i'm yawning Oh no, I made you all yawn probably. Sorry, 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 sorry. Anyway, we have a living room. <laughs> we have this cute pink kitchen. Uh, and we've got this hallway as well. Can I just say, I'm so sorry about the puzzle shell. It's been rough and you didn't deserve this. But this does look really good. I love, I love this though. Like these little sculptures in here and the art they've got. We've moved out to the woods to pursue our dreams and not for any other suspicious reasons. No other reason at all. They're just, just the dreams are being pursued. <laughs> that's it, that's it. <laughs> I love this. You guys have all done so well on these builds. It's so cool to see. All right, let's see if we can go to the next one, yeah? Um, the next one that we're going to go and see is from MayaCat13. And they said their build is a whimsical village. That was sorcery prints on the gallery, by the way. Whimsical Village from Maya Cat. Welcome to this whimsical village where three siblings live, each with their own talents and powers. We've got a garden fairy, an animal fairy, and an inventor fairy. It'd be so fun to have fairies for real in The Sims. That would be cool. Didn't realize you could delete inside walls. I know, Spicy. We talked about it a little bit, but I feel like it's probably pretty half and half of people deleting the interior walls and not deleting the interior walls. So either way, it's it's fine. It fits in with the rules, so. Don't worry. Oh my God, why do I keep yawning? It's because I haven't slept. That's why. I'm fine. Oh my God, sorry, everybody. <laughs> so here we have this whimsical village that they've built, and there's three different separate houses. I love this debug item. I never use this because I have a hard time finding places to put it. But that looks so cute. And we have this beautiful lake with some pretty like orbs. And they use the fancy like light up trees as well. Everybody's been using these pretty trees. They look so good there. Okay, so this is the inventor fairy they were talking about. So the inventor fairy has their own little house. They've got a living room. They've got a kitchen and bathroom and their staircase is upstairs. So they have this cute patio and their bedroom up here. That's fun. This reminds me of the, the four immortal sisters challenge. I don't know how many of you have ever like heard or played that. It was more of a big deal like years and years ago. Like we're talking like 2015, but in that challenge, you sort of have like a few different houses um, for these like these four immortal sisters who have different powers and stuff. Um, but that, this kind of reminds me of those vibes a little bit, which is kind of fun. Okay, this is the animal fairy's house. So they have their kitchen, they have their little living room. We got a pet corner. <laughs> Look at all the pet stuff. Uh, and then when you go upstairs, they have this really cute bedroom. Look at the bunnies hopping over this dresser. That's cute. They have a rat. No, sorry, it's not a rat. It's the void critter one, but. It's basically a rat. <laughs> and then over here we have the, the plant fairy, right? 
So they have their own house. I love the pathway you use too. I never really get a chance to use this this um, terrain paint. But inside we have their little dining room entry space. Oh my god, I'm yawning again. What is wrong with me today? Sorry, sorry, sorry. I shouldn't keep talking through it. I'm, let me drink some water. <laughs> focus everybody, focus. Anyway, <laughs> we have a living room. They have their little kitchen too. These are some nice appliances. And then upstairs, oh, look at that. They have some wands as well. They've got the flower arranging table and their bedroom. And then what's in, in these? Oh, the cauldrons. Oh, we've got potion making spaces. That's cool. This would be kind of fun to play in if you had like three different spell casters that are all like focusing on different things. Or if perhaps we actually had a fairy pack, that'd be nice, but we don't. So <laughs> we make do with spell casters. Look at the pond though. That's so lovely. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, that was from Maya Cat 13 on the gallery, is who built that one. So I'll pull up the next one. Uh, this next one is from Frank Stage. Frank Stage. I don't know if we'll get a fairy pack in the future. I guess, I mean, never say never, right? Because they, I mean, they've been doing a lot of, like, heavily fan requested stuff recently with the horses and the babies and stuff. So I wouldn't be surprised if someday we got one. But we did just get werewolves, so I bet they'll space it out a bit more. All right, this is the Simsy Puzzle Home. Love the shingles. Built on the 30 by 30 lot in Tartosa. Let's go see. Um, to Tartosa. 30 by 30 is... No, no, this one. Got it. <laughs> got it. Yeah, it'd be cool if we got fairies, though. I think a lot of people want them, so... You want more of a city pack with apartments? Yeah, I would prefer to have more, like less of a countryside sort of vibe and more of a city pack. I That's why if they were to like do another pack, like the next pack I would want, I don't think would be fairies just because if they did fairies, I bet it would be quite like nature-y. And I don't really want another countryside world right now. Like I wanna have a more of a downtown kind of space with apartments, with apartments, anyway. This is really nice. I really love when people do this sort of like uh, pergola type vibe on top of the houses. And I like this color scheme with the cream siding and the, and the white shingles. They've used a lot of balconies. Honestly, balconies are a very good tool with shell builds because you can help like remedy the odd shapes that come with shell challenges, you know? Back here we have a greenhouse. I love the greenhouses. They're so nice. We have a cute little greenhouse. We've got a pool and some lounge chairs. There's a fire pit. They put the movie thing. That's so nice. That's so, 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 so nice. Okay, that's the whole backyard though. Inside, oh, look at this little entry space. So you walk in, we have this lovely kitchen. Around the corner, we have a little dining room area and a bathroom, which makes perfect sense. We've got this really nice purple and green bedroom downstairs. I love that color combo. This bed, I think this swatch of this bed is my favorite one as well. I just love purple. Purple and green together is so cute. Like it matches so well, but anyway, that's the teen bedroom maybe. Over here we have this lovely living room. Oh, that looks so nice. They've kind of got a desk nook as well. And then upstairs we've got this little like hallway. Oh no. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. <laughs> Sorry, I'm yawning too much. Anyway, not the build's fault, it's my fault. Anyway, now that I've like said it enough, it's gonna keep happening. We have a landing and they've got access to the balcony from up here. I love having sliding glass doors because it's such a big, huge window to give us more and more space and more and more lighting. And then we've got a couple kids or a kids bedroom up here. So we've got like kids sharing this room. I love the pink and green, like how they're opposite on each side. That's cool with the polka dots that they share. And then this one I assume is the primary bedroom. They've got their own balcony as well with yoga and, and a telescope so you can die. Little bathroom right here. This is a really good use of the, the pieces. It laid out together quite well. I feel like putting the stair landing with the weird shape diagonals is quite smart because then you can try and like angle it into a hallway. That's a good way of using it. That diagonal was terrible. I am sorry that I did that, genuinely. I don't know what my problem was. 
No, I said telescope so you can die. Yeah, that was from Frank Stage on the gallery, by the way. <laughs> it's really beautiful. Okay, the next one, the next one uh, is from, ah, I lost it. Literal Gina. Literal Gina is the next one. Got it, got it. Let's go see Gina's. Their name is the same on Twitch as it is on the gallery, so. Puzzle Shell of Doom, in all caps. In my new favorite found family, party people find each other in their last years of college. They were just friends for years until a series of misfortune befall them and the death of a loved one and a breakup hits the household. Now one is a soon-to-be music teacher who is pregnant with her ex's kid, and the other is an A-list athlete with an engineering major and some major inheritance. Of doom? Oh my. Okay. <laughs> Puzzle Shell of Doom. <laughs> Let's go see this. I'm nervous now. Maybe, oh, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, okay. I was gonna say, maybe it's just that they're unlucky and the house isn't creepy. No, there's a graveyard in the back. It's, it's lovely. It's beautiful with the fences and the pretty decor. It's a lovely gra graveyard. I'm happy for them. It's nice to have. That's beautiful. Yeah. And this is the house itself. Graveyards can be peaceful. Aside from the like tragic death situation, that part's not so peaceful. Anyway, <laughs> this is what the outside of the house looks like. I'm impressed with the shape they managed to fit in. We've got a nice back patio back there. We have more doom. Look, everybody's adding in these telescopes. Okay. <laughs> Look at this. Okay, so the entrance, when you first walk in, we have a really huge living room seating area, which is really lovely. And then you come back. This is kind of like a formal entry, I guess, because you come back and we have this kitchen, living, dining, all in one room together, which is pretty good. I like how they have a piano. It's hard to fit pianos and build sometimes because they're so big. So it's nice when you can find a spot for them. And then we have a nice bathroom downstairs. Upstairs, we got a stair landing. Oh, there's a gym. Ooh. There's also a baby corner, but there's a toilet in the bassinet. Is it storage or is the monster toilet the baby? Like, are we stacking stuff up because we're storing things? Or is this the baby? Because if it is, I would believe it. I'm choosing to believe, even though it looks like storage, that the monster is the baby. <laughs> the monster is the baby. And then we have this little living room. We've got an urn. Ooh, some cute clutter. I meant bedroom, not living room. Sorry, I misspoke. I knew what I meant to say. That's really nice, though. It's just so cool seeing how different these floor plans all are. That's like the beauty of the puzzle, huh? Because when we do regular shells, it's always impressive, but with the puzzle, they're all so different. So different, because there's so many different ways that you can combine them, you know? Oh, hi! Sorry, drink water. Hi, Kayla. <laughs> We're doing shell challenge tours today. That was from literal Gina, by the way. I hope I didn't go too fast on that one. I'm trying to make sure I get through as many as we can without being too fast. Um, but this next one is Dabney underscore Mallory on the gallery. Um, anyway, hi Kayla, welcome in. We're doing shell challenge tours because I built this horrible, ridiculous puzzle shell that's a bunch of little puzzle pieces that you had to fit together into a, a build. Dabney, your builds are really good, by the way. <laughs> um, and this one is the next one we're gonna tour. So, oops, all caps. So I always try and comment on them. And whenever I like, press caps lock again by accident. Like I type things like nice in all caps, but nice in lowercase looks passive aggressive, doesn't it? Anyway, sorry, <laughs> this is Dabney's. It is a large family home with three bedrooms and three bathrooms and a garage turned into a gym and a pool. That's nice, that's nice. Let's go take a look. Let's go see. You got Taylor Swift tickets? Nice, that's also very exciting. All right, oh. I'm in the wrong spot. I, I saw it said 40 by 30. What was I doing putting it there? I knew what I clicked on. I don't... 
Hold on. <laughs> Put it on the wrong lot. I'm like talking to chat and not paying attention. <laughs> I'm talking to chat and not paying attention. Okay, let's go see, shall we? Whew. And we're in on the right size lot this time too, okay? Okay, oh, look at the garage. Dabney, this is beautiful. You know I love growing together. The growing together stuff is so nice. Here's the exterior. We have a lovely driveway and pathway up to the front door. We got our trash cans by the edge and we've got like a baby bike and an adult bike together. Um, around the back, we have a huge pool. There's like a covered seating area for the table. We got a swing set. This is lovely. Oh, look at that, the like sunroom. We've got a couple balconies on the back too. All right, let's go look inside so we can see it better. There's a huge front porch fully decorated. I need to make more of an effort to decorate my Sims front porches like more cozy like this because that's just so nice. It looks beautiful. I love these hanging plants too. I don't normally do that, but it looks really good there, doesn't it? And then when you come inside, you walk right into the dining room, it looks like, and we've got the kitchen over in the corner. I love the shape of this. This is gonna sound weird, but I don't mean it in a bad way. I love when kitchens kind of have like a funky shape a little bit, you know? Like how this one, the counters go around the corner. I just think it looks really cool. I like that a lot. It's not just like your normal square, you know? It's got some, some space to it. And then we have a door to the back patio right here. There's a bathroom. We have this little greenhouse sunroom area attached to the house. And then we've got through here a little office space. Oh my God, the cat spot in the middle of the books. That's nice. I like that, that's a fun idea. And they have a little cat calendar too. This person must like cats. <laughs> the same who lives here has probably a couple cats. Uh, in here we have the living room. I love when people put baby toys in the living room with their stuff, cause that's so realistic. We got some toys and clutter on top of the piano as well. And then it looks like if you go upstairs, we have a little bit of a hallway. Um, to the right we've got maybe the primary bedroom, cause they have an ensuite bathroom, yeah. They have this nice ensuite bathroom and a huge balcony to themselves off their bedroom. Down the hallway, we've got a bathroom that can be shared. We've got a baby's nursery up here. They even have a closet for this little kid's room. And then we've got a laundry room upstairs too. That's so nice. This house has everything. Down here uh, outside, we also have that detached garage that's now a gym as well. So we've got the cute cars going up there. Oh, look at... I have never, okay, I've built a lot of fake garages. This is so smart. This is that curtain rod thing from the Desert Lux kit. So it looks like how you can pull open the garage. That's a nice little detail. I've never, I've never thought to do that. Cause it's hard to make like a wall with windows look like a garage. So that's really smart as like that little addition to make it, it tells you, oh, that's a garage door that can open. <laughs> Obviously in game, it's just a wall, but you get what they're going for, you know? That's so nice. That's so nice. This is a pretty house, Dabney. You should be proud. That's from Dabney underscore Mallory on the gallery, by the way, if you're looking for it. Use the garage city living. Yeah, that one works, but it's quite like small sometimes. I, I often end up using one of the big wide doors from Snowy Escape as a fake garage door, which works. But if it's like just a base game build and stuff, sometimes you just use like, or if it, the space doesn't work, you have to use a, a different door, so. Okay, the next one we're gonna do is Kylie Reichel. Oh my God, I just pressed complete without, oh, I was trying to copy paste, I pressed, I think it was Kylie Rogers. Yes, okay. Oh, I almost like miss, didn't read their username. <laughs> that would have been bad. I almost lost it. It's a 70s theme puzzle shell. They said, P.S. If you see any plants cutting through the walls, no, you didn't. I get it, I understand. <laughs> it's something 70s inspired. This is cool. Oh my gosh, it's 40 by 30 in, in Oasis Springs. I, I really understand that. If you see any plants clipping, no, you didn't vibes though. We're all in this together. <laughs> We're all in this together, don't worry. All right, let's take a look at this. It's from Kylie Rogers on the gallery, by the way. 
Okay. In we go. Come on. Ooh. I love these vibes. The shape of this is cool. They have like a little almost covered carport driveway as well. I love this with the pathway and the gravel. I like the little flamingo too. That's cool. Around the back, we've got some big plants. There's a hot tub, swing set, pool, lounge chairs. We have this nice back patio, like kitchen thing. There's a nice covered area with some places to eat and some fairy lights. They have all of these planter boxes. There's a death trap. <laughs> Inside this covered area, we have a guest house. Oh, that's cool. Do you know what? This guest house is made with my weird diagonal wall. That's smart. So many people use the diagonal room to make a bathroom. It's very common, but it, that's a cool shape to have that like a guest house. It could be like a pool bathroom as well. That makes a lot of sense. That's really cool. And then when you actually come inside the house, oh my goodness. So you walk in, there's a little entryway it looks like. We've got a dining room. There's a sunken living room. How cool is that? There's a huge like formal dining room too. And we've got a bathroom downstairs. It looks like around here in the corners, there's a kitchen. They made a custom fireplace. Look, this is a coffee table from City Living and they like put it in the wall and put a window. So it looks like a custom fireplace. That's cool. We have a nice uh, double doors into this primary bedroom. That's so realistic. That's so realistic. And then they have an ensuite bathroom too, those sims. And upstairs, we've got a hallway with what looks to be a few more bedrooms. So we have this pink one. I like this. Is this the high school years poster again? The high school years poster has a lot of nice swatches. I don't think I've ever seen that one before. That's good. In here, we've got a little shared office. That's so nice. I think they said in the description that their legacy sim and their girlfriend are gonna live here. So that'll be cool because they can share the office. Uh, around the back, we've got another kid's bedroom and they've got a little bathroom in the hallway. Yeah, high school years has a lot of really, oh no, I'm yawning again, sorry. High school years has a lot of really good stuff. <laughs> I'm terrible. I'm exhausted today, oh. But yeah, it has some nice items. This is a really pretty house. I like the shape of it. I feel like the roof looks so good. This is really lovely from the outside. Yeah, we've seen a lot of shared offices today. It's fun when that kind of thing happens because I feel like we don't usually see a lot of shared offices, but today we've seen a handful of them, like ones that are used by more than one sim, which I kind of like. It's, it's nice to have more than one computer for gameplay because when you've got like so many sims, you need to have extras. All right, that was by Kylie Rogers on the gallery. Kylie Rogers on the gallery is who made that one. Okay, the next one that we're gonna do is from Huckleberry Crow, whose name is Poppy Crow on The Sims. Let's take a look. Oops, had a space bar. Ooh. It's in Island Paradise, or Island Paradise, it's in Island Living. It's in the Suwani uh, area. And it's like a beach house. We've seen so many different things today. You've yawned three times because of me. I'm sorry, Justice. I know, I'm the worst. <laughs> I'm the worst. What size lot was this? I have to check. 40 by 30, okay, sorry. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention, I forgot. <laughs> oh, it's all right. We're making it there. We're making it there. Let's go see. I'm ready. <laughs> oh, Huckleberry Crow's in chat. That's exciting, that's exciting. Ooh, oh, I'm on the wrong lot. 100% I am on the wrong lot. Hold on. <laughs> it's in the water. That was my bad. I, I did in fact put it in the wrong place. Um, Where do you think it is? Is it all on the ground? This one, it's this one, it's this one, it's this one. There's more sand on this one. Okay, sorry. Got it, got it, false alarm. I got it now, I got it now. <laughs> Uh-oh. Also, there's ads gonna play in one minute and 29 seconds. 
which is not so good. So I might, maybe I'll let him play now and then we'll tour the build. So nobody misses anything. How about that? I can do that. I can do that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Pasta, hopefully we get a chance to get to yours. Just so you all know, uh, I do these tours randomly and obviously we can only do so many of them. Like there's so many requests, we, we can't get to them all. So I try my best, but I hope you're not gonna be too upset if I don't get to yours just because obviously like there's so many, <laughs> it's just not possible. If only we had all day, if only we had all day. Unfortunately, we don't. You know why we don't? Because Lil Simsy's exhausted. Because of various um, horse-related reasons. Clip, clop, clip, clop, says Christine. Yeah. Today, I... I finished writing, no, hypothetically, if I were to review the horse pack, it would be a six page long script <laughs> that I, I go through and like organize. I would, if I were to write a review for a pack, I would go through and organize all these clips that I'm gonna use like, when I say that, I'm gonna put this clip and I have it like written down in the script and it's a whole thing. And if I, if I were to have done that today, it would have made my brain feel like mush, hypothetically. Obviously. <laughs> hypothetically, if I were to have done that, <laughs> it would have been um, a lot. Hey, Snappy, do you wanna sit with us? Come here, come here, jump. Jump, don't just chirp at me, jump. I know you want to jump, what do you want? Come here. Hello? Come here. She's gonna go for it now. She was confused by the other side. <laughs> hi Snappy, have you come to say hi to everyone? They're all very excited to see you. All right, this is my cat, everyone. <laughs> The ads should be done now. So this build belongs to Poppy Crow on the gallery. Uh, and this is their sort of cool island living beach house. Look at the landscaping they made. Do you know what? This looks really awesome. They've kind of like put some of these privacy screens to cover it a little bit. So that way you can hang out and sit on these pillows and look out at the water, but not have to worry about people seeing you. That's really nice. We have all these beautiful flowers everywhere. You can walk up this dock to access this area. This is the main shape of the building. This is so cool. Island living is so cool, isn't it? There's just so many fun things. Okay, so it looks like this is the front door. So you'll walk up and you'll go through this door. Hi, oh, thank you. That was so nice. You sniffed my face. Can I help you? You're not sure? Okay. <laughs> Anyway, you walk inside. I like the white with this sort of reddish orangish toned wood also. But inside we have a little entryway. And yet again, a poor unfortunate soul has had to use my horrible diagonal room as a bathroom. I'm so sorry for adding this diagonal room. Everybody's like, I don't know what to do with this. I'll just make it a bathroom. I get it. I really do. I really do. I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. It looks good though, it looks good. You got to use this cool archway that I never can find a spot for. And then you come in here, we have a living room. Look at the view from these couches. I always feel so ridiculous when I sit here and I'm like, look at the view, it's the Sims. But like, look, look, isn't that nice? We've got a little table kind of in the nook. We've got a sea turtle photo. Uh, down here we have the kitchen and dining room area, which is really lovely. I love these counters. We need to build Island Living. Should I write that down? Island Living build. I can't type because my cat's half on my keyboard. <laughs> we have other things to build first, but soon. This glass room, you can walk through an all glass room to access this bedroom. They've got a little bathroom right here, obviously. So you enter this door right here and then you can come in or go to the bathroom. But they have this glass hallway. It's got glass floor and ceiling. That's really cool. 
I think that would kind of scare me in real life, you know? Because you would, like, see little fishies underneath you. Maybe it'd be cool. It is cool in The Sims, for sure. I think stepping on glass in real life scares me, though. Uh-oh, something's in my eye. Snappy, is it your fault? Because I put my face up to your head. Do I have cat hair in my eye? I should be okay. <laughs> anyway, anyway, when you come back this way, there's a ladder to go upstairs. <gasps> and they have a cool, like, upper deck on the roof, and it's got a glass roof in the middle. What is this from? Moonlight Lantern, that's lovely. Ah. Okay. That was the cat. <laughs> she just stepped on the keyboard and it went to Manage Worlds. <laughs> Snap, you're so good at gaming. She said, pick the next one. <laughs> You spent too long on this one, Kayla. Pick the next one. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, and then upstairs over here, it looks like, oh, look, there's a plant room. You know, we've seen a lot of plant rooms today. In a good way. We've seen a lot of plant rooms today. That's pretty cool. I guess it makes sense, given, like, the recent greenhouse kit, that it would, like, inspire a lot of plant rooms. And Simmers love plants, so it checks out. This plant room has access to a couple balconies. The hallway's got a little desk and stuff. And then in here, we've got a bedroom and a beautiful bathroom. They've got a balcony off the bathroom, too. That's so nice. So, so, so nice. They even have a boat. I don't usually use this boat all that often. This is the one that you unlock. This is the unlockable, like, fancy one. I usually end up using just the regular one, so that's pretty cool. Anyway, this is a beautiful house. We have seen so many different things today. That's by Poppy Crow on the gallery, by the way. Uh, Poppy Crow built that one. All right, so the next one we're going to do is, <laughs> is Ferret in a Sweater on the gallery, or on Twitch, sorry. And their gallery uh, is Nargles7. <laughs> Ferret in a Sweater, uh-oh. Let me check Ferret's chat history and see if they gave me their gallery name. Sometimes people put it wrong, so that's okay. Oh no. Uh-oh. They haven't typed, okay, is this right? Let us know, Ferret in a sweater, if you're still here, let us know, okay, what your, um, what your username is on the gallery. The capitals won't make a difference. The capitals don't make a difference. Hmm. Okay, we'll come back. If we see if we see them in chat, if we see Ferret in chat, we'll come back. Um, so we'll go to the next one instead while we're while we're waiting, just in case they come type to us. Uh, and this next one is from Jen A S. Jen underscore Nay S. And their gallery is uh Terai Kabbalah. Let's go check it out. Ooh, look, they do some cool builds. The question is, which one of these is the shell? <laughs> I don't know. Let me go to their page. They're really talented. Do you think it's this one? I don't know. They're in chat. It's the first one? Oh, it's the first one. Okay. It says it right there. <laughs> my bad. Sorry. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, let's go take a look. So we have a 50 by 40 lot. The blue farmhouse. This is so pretty. All right, let's go see. Let's go see. Henford on Bagley. Oh, I'm lost. Okay. I am excited. Hopefully I've got it on the right 50 by 40 lot. If not, I apologize. It should be okay. All right, here we go. <laughs> I do have the right one? All right, good, 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 good. I always get the orientation of these 50 by 40s in Henford on Bagley confused. I, I know like all of the lots in The Sims 4 pretty well, but I always get these couple orientations confused. This is beautiful. This is a build after my own heart. You know, you all know, I love, I love this. 
<laughs> this is like exactly my style. <laughs> love, 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 love. Okay, okay, so here's the outside. We've got a pretty truck uh, with some like uh, hay and stuff in the back. If you come around the backyard, they've got a pool. They've got some cows. They've got some landscaping here with places to grow plants. They have a greenhouse. We have a little chicken area back over here. Oh, look at this. That's amazing. Look at the shape of this room. Ooh, you did a good job with this. I love your fake garage. They did it too. They have the fake, the thingy that looks like you're opening the garage. I need to start doing that. That's so smart. That looks so good. All right, <laughs> sorry, distracted. Write that down, write that down. <laughs> when you come inside, there's like a little entryway it looks like right here. So we've got a closet, uh, there's some light switches and we've got the thermostat, we got some shoes. Staircases here, and then down in the back, we've got this huge kitchen and breakfast nook. It's nice to have a big kitchen for cooking. I usually end up making quite small kitchens in my houses, but this is really nice, it's a good size. And then down here also, we have a living room. I love this, I used to do this all the time. These are like the base game um, coffee tables, but they combine them. So there's like a whole bunch all stacked together in a circle. So it looks like a big circle table. We all used to do that before we got big coffee tables, <laughs> but it looks pretty. It's like a pretty, almost like fancy shape. You know, it looks good. And the clipping's not that bad either. So it's a, it's a fun tip. Uh, over here, we've got a little office. Oh, look at the wood bookshelves. In here, we've got like a sunroom, cat room almost. My cat is here. She would like this, proof of cat. <laughs> She would probably like this with the cat tree and all the windows. Around the side, we've got a pretty dining room off the, off the kitchen. And then the garage, the garage has a huge car. There's like workbenches and storage and a games table. This is a fun garage. God, I wish, I so badly wish that we had real garage doors. Because these, the fake ones look really lovely. But I just love having garages in this game. This is so nice. The garage, it looks so good. They also, I don't know if you can tell, but they've used a roof to have it be angled up. So the driveway looks like it's going up. It's pretty smart. Okay, then you go upstairs. It's a huge house. So we have this lovely hallway. We got cat stuff, we got laundry. There's a little, oh, there's a cat themed bedroom. And this kiddo has an ensuite bathroom as well, which is pretty nice. That's cute. Uh, down here on this hallway, we've got a lovely bigger bedroom. They've got an ensuite bathroom. There's a hall bath. We have like a little fox themed baby's room. Another bath or bedroom here, sorry. And then we've got a kid's room over here. I like the separate like hangout and sleeping space you've done. And they've got their own bathroom too. It's nice that you managed to get en suites everywhere. I'm not very good at making sure my Sims have bathrooms. It, like, sometimes when I build things, because I like to build, like, houses that look sort of older, I'll build a house and on purpose only have one bathroom. <laughs> when, like, in real life, if everybody had their own bathroom, this is the dream. Like, to have en-suites like this would be so nice in real life. Wouldn't that be amazing to, like, not share with your siblings? Amazing. This is a beautiful house. It's huge, too. It probably took you ages to build. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I bet how many of you were like inspired by the upcoming horse pack when building this stuff because this house If you wanted to you could like swap these out and put some horses back here so easily when it's time That's gonna be so fun <laughs> You're going to bed turning off the Lil Simsy stream to watch Lil Simsy on YouTube. There you go <laughs> Well, have a good time. I'll see you later. Uh, that was by uh, Tarai Kabala on the gallery. I, I can copy paste this for you so you can type in if you would like to, if you'd like to grab it. All right, let's go see. Girl, we wanna see horses. I, trust me, Bestie, if I could show you right now, I would. <laughs> I'm not allowed to talk about them yet, unfortunately. I, um, I know, I know. Me too, <laughs> me too. Um, I'm with you, we're all on the same page here, but not allowed yet. Okay, the next one is Amazing Emma, but like with an E, E-Amazing Emma. And their gallery name is Amazing Emma underscore in the middle. Uh, and they have built this really cute puzzle shell for us. I was gonna try to do this hard mode, but then I gave up. Love it. 
I respect it. Me too, bestie. Me too. Me too. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Um, so let's go check out this space. I'm pretty sure the CC is just Peppa Pig, so it's pretty minor, but I could be wrong. <laughs> we'll see. That's exciting. All right, let's go take a look at this one. Legendary. I respect it. Should put a thing on your stream at this point. No, I know. Everybody wants to know so badly. Um, everybody wants to see horses so badly. I can't post it yet. So tomorrow, there's probably going to be a base game update. So tomorrow, I'll make a video about the base game update. And then the horse pack comes out on Thursday. So that leaves Wednesday. I wonder what my plans are for Wednesday. You know? <laughs> you know? <laughs> anyway, this is the house. Let's take a look. I like this color scheme. I, I have never used, successfully at least, these university windows and doors. It looks really good out here. That is beautiful. Oh my god, the backyard with the pool and the lounge and this. That's amazing. I love the hot tub. What a nice color scheme. I like this balcony too. That's pretty cool. Okay, now when you come inside. Oh, I love when people manage to use this rug. Okay, also... One thing that I never do, and I probably should, is put, like, tile underneath a fireplace like that. That looks so realistic. They have this really pretty rug. Uh, we've got some really nice bottle holders and decor back here. There's a dining table when you first walk in. We got this lovely kitchen in the side. If you come back here, we've got, like, an office space, library area, it looks like. We got a huge bathroom. There's a bedroom downstairs with some pretty blue colors. I never use this. I've seen two people use this wallpaper in like really nice ways today. Cause I always use this wallpaper in like a really chaotic way. And I use the rainbow one and then I pair it with like that chaotic rainbow floor tile. <laughs> like that's, that's the only way I use this wallpaper, you know? So doing it, like the nice solid blue, the pink one from earlier, it looks really good, doesn't it? And it's not chaotic. It actually, like the colors fit together really nicely. I need to learn. <laughs> I need to learn. Okay, upstairs, upstairs we got a little hallway. Oh, they've got some decor. There's a naked gnome. And a horse. Oh my God, it's the horse pack. <laughs> <laughs> it's the horse pack and then anyway back here we've got a bedroom like the primary bedroom they've got some like uh, wardrobes and a balcony it looks like we have this super cute messy kids room with the toys and the colors everywhere I like how there's like a, a yellow side and a pink side because they're sharing and then we have a bathroom in the hallway too that's adorable did you just leak it <laughs> oh my god guys look the horse pack leaked it's right there it's a donkey. It's a donkey. It's the horse pack. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's go on to the next one. This is a really beautiful house though. I love it. I love the color scheme. It looks so nice. I love this pathway you did too. Snappy, you ditched me. Oh, she went downstairs even. I got fully ditched. Oh well. Oh well. Let's go see the next one. All right, the next one we're gonna do is from Chelsea Dolphin, whose name is Ariel underscore Beach 21 on the gallery. Let's go see it. Ah, pasted it wrong. Ariel Beach 21. Oh, it's wintry. It's a Mount Komorebi, Komorebi residence, perfect for a family of skiers. This is cool. We've seen so many different builds today, so many different places and stuff. All right, 30 by 20 in Mount Komorebi. You feel so lucky. I see you, Chelsea. That's exciting. I'm glad we, I'm glad we get to see yours. Uh, Mount Komorebi. Let's go. Um, do you think it matters which one? I hope not. <laughs> I hope not. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. Oh my goodness. There is exactly 500 requests, by the way. 
And that's not counting the ones that we've done and I've checked off. There's exactly 500 requests. All right, let's go see. Oh, cute. With the ski equipment outside. I love these snowy lots in Mount Comerabi. It's so cool. Yeah, Emily, I didn't post a video on this shell. Um, so not as many people knew about it, I don't think. And not as many, still 500. <laughs> but I didn't post a video on it, so. Um, anyway. Less than usual, because I didn't make a video. <laughs> Alright, let's go look inside. <gasps> oh, it's cool. Okay, so when you first walk in, there's a place to store all your shoes and everything, obviously. We've got a little bathroom down here. Did you, are these all the rooms kept? Like, the space is the same as before? Legend. Okay, we have a bathroom down here. We've got the toilet back here and the tub and everything. I love the mountainy tile. Uh, you come in here, we've got sort of like a hallway, it looks like. To the left, there's a cozy living room with a fireplace. Look at this little guy. This item is one of my favorite things in the game. It's just cute, isn't it? And then around here, oh, we got the kotatsu table in here. We got the kitchen. I like this blue with the with the color of the wood. It looks good together, doesn't it? And you put clutter in all of the shelves. Amazing. Amazing. There's a little kid's bedroom downstairs. Over here, we've got this other primary bedroom. There's a laundry space. We got a huge closet and a third bedroom down here. I like that. Oh, I like this room best, I think, actually. Because this, like the decal on the wall, looks really cool. That's amazing. A lot of people have used the closets today, also. I feel like I don't really use the closets that often, but you've all managed to fit them in so well. It looks so good. All right. I think it's, oh, look at this, this little uh, desk nook, too. This is really cute. Chelsea, you did a great job. I love the vibes of this. I want to do a snowy escape let's play soon. Maybe we could do a snowy escape playthrough. Perhaps post horses on stream we can do some snowy escape gaming. Because that might be kind of fun. It's been a while since we played snowy escape. And I didn't build much in snowy escape um, after the pack released because I spent so much time building in Snowy Escape before the pack released. Like when I did the builds for Snowy Escape, I literally spent, I don't even wanna know how many hours I spent making those builds. So when the pack came out, I was like, I don't wanna build there anymore. <laughs> I built so much there when I was doing the official builds. Like it took me so many hours that I was like, I need a, I need a break from Mount Komorebi. <laughs> um, but I, I liked that build, that was pretty beautiful. And it looks like my mods managed to find, or someone from chat managed to find uh, that person, Ferret, who we picked earlier, that we couldn't find their gallery name. Somebody else was searching and found, uh, like maybe it was a typo, they found this one that should be Ferret from before. Um, so it looks like we got, we got Ferret's name, which is good. <laughs> I would feel so bad if they like watched, if they watched the stream back and like knew that we like missed out on their build because we had a typo, but we found it. Um, so thank you to Klaus for, for finding this for us. Um, it's a couple about to welcome a new baby. One's an author, one's a business person who likes to paint. That's cute. Let's go see. I'm glad we managed to find it though. Uh, cause we were going to miss ferrets if we didn't. <laughs> and it's pretty, it's pretty. So I'm glad. Okay. Let me make sure we have the next page ready too. So we're on, on for the next one soon. All right. Yeah, I like seeing descriptions on the houses. I love hearing people's thought process, and sometimes they have like quite chaotic storylines too. Classic blue suburban. I love the wraparound porch and the red door. The red door looks cool. So around the back, we have a huge pool. This is so nice. This tile, this came in the greenhouse pack. This is one of my favorite pavers we've ever gotten in this game. I just, I like these pavers so much. It's so beautiful. Um, anyway, that's the backyard, really adorable. Oh, look, 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 little fairies. That's cute too. Okay, and then when we come inside the house, oh, look at that. There's a nice entryway, quite formal with some big archways into the other spaces. We've got a little table with the mail and everything and a staircase. Through here, we have the kitchen and dining area. That's lovely. What a rug is, is that from? 
Oh my god, it's the werewolf's rug. I've never seen that swatch. That looks good with the door. Like the red door and the blue cabinets combined on that rug is a really nice vibe, isn't it? That's cute. They have a tiny bathroom downstairs, it looks like. Oh, I love this room with the gallery wall. This is cozy. And the built-in bookshelves. That's nice. Oh, this is from the paranormal stuff pack. And then this one is this rug is growing together. They've got a little studio office space. It's kind of like a craft room. Oh, that's cute. I like that because the Sims are so crafty. Yeah, I like this card table behind the couch. That was pretty smart, I feel like, to have the card table there behind the couch. I love that. And then upstairs, we've got a tiny hallway. There's a couple bathrooms. One's for the hallway, and then one's an ensuite for this bedroom. I've seen a lot of this leaf wallpaper today, too, and it's really nice. The parents' or primary bedroom has like a, a bathroom with a litter box too. And then down here, we've got a little baby's room because the story was they were expecting a new baby. So they've got a they've got a baby on the way. And then they've got this little nursery set up for it. That's adorable. That is adorable. Further proof that the cats own the house. I think so. I think so. <laughs> okay, that one was uh nargles five on the gallery and their name is is like ferret in a sweater or something in chat um but i don't know if they're here right now okay the next one we're gonna go do is snowy underscore flake one on the gallery let's check it out oh it's a vacation home cool I thought the front of the lot was somewhere else, so now I'm stuck with this gallery image. Sad face. I also bulldozed five times while building this, but here's what I ended up with. I'm... Bestie. I'm so with you. I've never related to anything more in my life. <laughs> Felt that so much. We've all been there. <laughs> we have all been there. <laughs> okay, I think... Is it... It's a 30 by 20 lot. Maybe it's this one. Eh, we'll find out. It adds to the mystery, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Snowy is all of us. <laughs> all right, let's take a look. I am excited. I love jungle adventure builds. Oh, look at how cute that is. See, bulldozing five times was worth it because look what you got out of it. It turned out great. I understand that too. I really get it. <laughs> There's a little pool outside. I love the fountain around the edge of the building. That's lovely. Okay, and then you actually come inside. It looks like you walk in uh, to an open living space. You've got a dining room, living room, and kitchen down here. They've got a pink bedroom. I, oh my God. Totally had no idea that this bed had a pink and gray swatch. That's, that's like perfect. Wait, okay, write that down too, because I never used that. That's a cute swatch. I always pictured this bed as being like brighter, because a lot of the other colors are very bright, but that pink one is really nice. Hmm. Upstairs, we got a little uh, like stair landing, library. There's a door to a small balcony. We got a bathroom and there's a couple more bedrooms. There's like a primary bedroom and another kid's bedroom. This would be a nice spot to vacation. This is cute. It's got space for everybody. You can fit like what, four Sims sleeping here. You got a computer. You can crash here when you go like uh, zoom around in the tombs. This is nice. Yeah, I like that pullets. I think that's what that's what's standing out to me also is I feel like a lot of times with this pack, I, I go for like a lot of the like very bright like oranges and reds, but you use a lot of cooler tones like these blues and the grays and stuff, which I don't even know if I realized existed. So that looks, it looks really good together. It's really pretty. I like this house, Snowy. This is really good. Okay, do you guys think, I hate to offer it up, but I, I should probably do the other mods builds, huh? Because at the end of the day, this was meant to be punishment for the mods for making me the original shell, the original puzzle shell. So, so what we've got, I think Shella, Danya, and Christine definitely, right? 
I don't know if there's anybody else that we have to do. Should we do Shellas first? Annoyingly, ads are about to play. So I will play, I will play the ads now and then I'll pull up Shellas. All right, I'm scared. Oh, it's cute. All right, we'll download this and look at it in a second. Hello, as a moderator and professional enemy of Lil Sam Z, I have defeated her evil puzzle shell. This shell changed me as a person. I hope you enjoy this very normal home with no secrets. Hmm. Did you miss Grissom? Oh, cool, that's exciting. Okay, we'll see if we can, I, this is the thing. There's so many builds that I wanna get to and not enough time. <laughs> There's so many builds and not enough time. Oh my goodness. Okay, where should I put this? It's a 40 by 30 horizontal in the new world. San Sequoia. Well, it won't be the new world for long, that's for sure. Exciting. Oh, I pressed build. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. Okay. Let's try again. Have fun with that one. I've witnessed it all. Oh, I know a lot of you probably watched Shella build this on stream. So should I be alarmed? That is the question. Maybe. <laughs> all right, let me try this again. Let's not mess this up this time, yeah? Let's place it, let's place it. Okay. Okay. Whew. I think we'll zoom in. You should always be a little alarmed. Yeah, I mean, if Shell is involved, you should always be a little alarmed, for sure. So. <laughs> This actually though, honestly, the outside looks really good. The landscaping, like these little planter boxes, are you kidding? And the tree house with the picnic blanket underneath. Like she did a really good job from the outside. This is beautiful. Whoa, she made a fake hot tub in the pool. Wow, is that hiding something? Is that Peppa's grave? Here lies Peppa, apparently. You found it so fast? Well, look at it, it's very suspicious. <laughs> okay, anyway, in the back we got like a spot to hide our trash cans. There's a greenhouse attached, which is pretty cool. Let's go look at the inside. Took about five seconds to find it. <laughs> I wasn't, I, I honestly, I wasn't expecting a Peppa thing. I was expecting like a murder thing. So that was, that was pretty fun, actually. All right, anyway, inside. I watched Shella do like some of the interior of this space. I really liked the like dark blue accent with the lighter wood, I thought it was pretty cool. Oh my God, here I go again, liking blue. Ugh. Blue isn't even my favorite color. I just, I blue works so good in Sims builds, okay? This color scheme looks amazing. It's beautiful. So. There's a pantry and I believe Maybe a refrigerated meat wall. Is that Peppa? No. No. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, wow, I'm gonna move on now. <laughs> Over here, there's a living room. <laughs> there's a really cute pink room. I love the color scheme in here. This is like amazing, this color scheme in this room. Shella is a really good builder. Aside from the Peppa thing, she's a really good builder. 
<laughs> they have an ensuite bathroom in this pink room. Is that Peppa's room? Yeah, there's like LED lights here. I'm liking the, the bookshelf that she made. I like these little star lights as well. All right, upstairs we've got a little hallway with a cute rug. There's a bathroom with... There's a piranha in the toilet. Um... <laughs> Shella really, um, she knows me. She really knows me, let's just say that, okay? <laughs> We got this really cute kids room. <laughs> I'm not seeing anything scary in here. It looks it looks fine. We got another cute kids room here with some cute decor. They've got a small bathroom. And then in the greenhouse, is there anything to be alarmed about or is it just nice? It's for trims according to Shella. No, 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 I'm done now. I'm done. I'm done. That's enough of that one. <laughs> I've had enough, Rochella. I've had enough. Whatever you do, chat, do not, do not follow twitch.tv forward slash Rochella. Do not. Don't go over there. You'll regret it. Don't follow her. Yikes. Okay. <laughs> are we gonna do, are we gonna do Christine's next? All right. Let's get the mods uh, out of the way. Well, Christine, is it, is it this on the gallery? Yeah, okay. It's a farm! No, this might not be it. It's a battle of the designers! <laughs> this house is what happens when you hire a designer for one room and a different designer for another, and they don't see eye to eye. So they both quit, and then you hire another designer who dislikes what the first two started, and so on and so forth. <laughs> this house is a hodgepodge of styles, but has lovely views of Emily the Sea Monster from the Playhouse Outback. Oh. That's lovely. Lovely. It's 40 by 30, so I think it's this one. Uh-oh. Oh no, I'm yawning. The the stress of looking at Shella's build has made me feel exhausted. Having to go through and and watch Shella's build like that, it really it's it's taking me out. I'm not emotionally ready to move on yet. So, Emily the sea monster. Oh, if you didn't know, there is a sea monster that appears in the waters of Windenburg. You maybe haven't seen it, but there is in fact a sea monster. Out. You know? This might be the wrong lot. Who knows? The build is adorable, Christine. I love, I love your chimney. I like the color scheme. I've never used these like red planter boxes. That looks really nice. Oh, look around the back. There's like a tent with a TV screen set up. We've got a cute fire pit. Oh, that's really good. We've got this cute little, oh my God, it's a playhouse. <gasps> she turned my weird corners into a playhouse. Oh, and there's like a little spot outside. That's so nice, Christine. They have a mini fridge and a popcorn maker so they can make popcorn to watch their movies. That's really cute. I love that. Okay, and then when you actually come inside, it looks like you walk straight into a living room, which is really fancy. Around here, we've got like a, a more casual family room maybe for watching TV. The baby has their little stuff right here. I need to start using this baby's first rug more often because this little tiny baby rug underneath the little toys is so cute. I, I'm seeing the style fight already. <laughs> I'm seeing it. I also, this wallpaper, I never use it in that color. This is actually a really nice wallpaper. I need to use it more often because I've used it a couple times now for those university builds and it looks good. We've got some pretty wallpaper. 
And here we have a little bit more modern of a kitchen, it looks like. They've got a bathroom. I forgot that this sink has a green swatch. Oh my god, that's amazing. Over here we've got like a games room with a bar. In here there's a dining room. No, Erica, no one can show off Horse Ranch Early Access yet. Um, the embargo hasn't lifted yet. There will be some, but not yet. Oh my god, them not letting us tell people has inconvenienced everyone so greatly. <laughs> it's such a disaster. I'll tell you this, I'm playing Among Us tomorrow. But after that, I don't know what I'll do. And then on Thursday, it comes out. So... That is like one day? Yeah, well, hypothetically, yeah. It would be just one day. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, this is the dining room. <laughs> uh, in here, there's like a really cool hallway. I love this like clash of the designers. There's so many different styles in here. And then we've got a little baby room and they've got a bathroom. Look at the little cat stuff. That's so cute. The bathroom clutter kit is fun. It has so many fun things. I really like that. And then upstairs, we've got a hallway. Oh, Christine got stuck with my ridiculously long hallway room. She put a really long rug all the way through all of it. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, we have this bathroom here, another totally different style. Oh, look at this balcony. That's really nice. Another death trap, some planter boxes. We got this cute kids room with some play areas. We have this cute, maybe like teens room. I like this. Oh, this is cool how there's a, oh. I think I'm being threatened. I think I'm being threatened. Help, help. <laughs> It's Rochella. <laughs> Help. <laughs> I We did just tour your build, Shella. It was really scary. I had to leave. After I saw the piranha, I had to, I had to get out of there. Now I'm looking at Christine's uh, build from our, our shell tours. Christine's is really good. Look at this. If I had known you were going to raid, I would have waited five minutes to tour your build but unfortunately you're late. So, <laughs> and yet again, I remind my chat, absolutely under no circumstances should you click that follow button at the top of the chat. You see that button there? Do not click it. Do not follow Rochella. <laughs> do not go there. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't go there. <laughs> Christine, I'm really happy with your build though. It's so cute. Oh, we have this last room too. I almost forgot. Christine's whole thing was that like uh, they had hired an interior designer and then hired another one and they had sort of opposing styles. So they both quit and then they hired another one. So there's just a whole bunch of like style clashing from these various designers in the house and it's pretty cool. So anyway, excellent build, Shella. And I promised I would tour the last of the mod builds. I said I would go over and look at um, Danya's, right? I don't know what Danya's name is on the gallery, and I don't know if she's still here. You want me to tour Shella? Did I say Shella? Christine built that! Christine built that! Oh my god! It was Christine, Mrs. Tomato built that. Shella didn't build that. Shella built a Peppa Pig nightmare. Oh my God, she's infesting my brain. Help, help. What do I do? <laughs> Get me out of here. <laughs> this one's Danya. <laughs> Let's move on to a safe place. Like Danya's, who says, there definitely isn't anything stolen in the basement. It's a nice, normal, and cute family home. Okay. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Let's go see this one. We shall take a look. Oh my god. 
oh, this seems normal. Yeah. When did this feud start? There is not actually a feud, Abby. We're just joking. Shell is one of my best friends. <laughs> I don't know why. It's just, I don't know why we, we joke like this, but we do. So this is Danya's build. I love the big windows. That's so pretty. We've got a lot of beautiful flowers around the back. There's a pergola in the back and some more big windows. We've got some kid spaces. There's a garage. Oh, with some cute storage. They even, she even put like the snowboards and stuff. I never use the snowboards. Oh, it like, I can't undo. Look, I can't put it back. That's so weird. Maybe it's like slotting there or something. I like this. Uh-oh. I'm gonna come back to this. I'm gonna come back to this. Let's look inside first. <laughs> okay. I love the pastels on the inside. This beautiful rug. You walk in, we have this really cute dining room and kitchen, it looks like, with some more pastel colors. Out here, we have some really pretty living room spaces. A lot of pet items, too, with like the dog bed. We got the pet bowls. I love this color scheme. This is cute. And this adorable piano with the pretty painting. It's a good use of the floor plan, to be honest, because it's it's really hard to make diagonals work, but she did a good job with this. We got the cat tree. There's a bathroom and a laundry room with pink washer dryer, which is legendary. <laughs> and then upstairs, we've got a little hallway. There's a, a desk in the landing and a balcony. I love this pink and like kind of coral bedroom for one of the kids. We have a huge bathroom. And then it looks like a primary bedroom with an ensuite bathroom. Lots of pink and pastels up here too. And a dinosaur baby room. I love this dinosaur rug. That's one of my favorite rugs in the whole game. I really like that. That's cute with the dinosaur painting too. Okay. And I had seen before in the back of the garage, a ladder. I'm scared to go down. Oh my god, it's a vault. And it's full of stolen goods! <laughs> There's a vault door with a stolen ATM, a cannon, a star from Hollywood, a stolen necklace, urns, a bunch of gold, a chicken, aliens, a dinosaur head, a literal dead body, and a bunch of money. Oh my god. <laughs> They're a thief. The person who lives here is a thief. Here we go. We come downstairs thinking there's going to be like something casual happening. This, the combination of the seance table and the skeletons. Interesting. And baby Yoda, put him back where he belongs. Leave him be. He's trapped. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. Okay. Um, I'm trying to get through as many as we can here. Let me see if we can do a couple a couple more from chat then, because we've got through the mod ones. Um, do you want to play Find the Peppa in mine before you go? Wait, there's hidden Peppas in yours, Dika? No, there's not. There's there's one hidden Peppa in yours. Oh my god. Is that why you texted me earlier to ask if I had the Peppa Pig CC? Well, let me just check that I actually do have the Peppa Pig CC. Because I said I did, but what if I don't? Oh, yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Okay, let's everyone keep an eye out for Peppa Pig, okay? Where could she be? She's in the garbage? Oh, really? Oh, that helps. Is Peppa the pool monster? Peppa. Why is everybody hiding Peppa in their builds? She's inside, okay. Hmm. 
Peppa. Peppa. Are you back there, Peppa? No. Peppa? No. Well, she's not in the bathrooms. Peppa. Come here, Peppa. I just want to say hi. Why don't- Oh! Sorry, jump scare. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> She's in the fridge with candles. I totally didn't see that last time. When I looked first. Why, why do all my friends make Peppa Pig shrines? Can I ask this honestly? Why, why did all my friends make Peppa Pig shrines? You made us like this? I didn't do anything. It's scary out there. All right. <laughs> all right, the next one, uh, the next one is Sprouty Cat and their gallery is Piper and Dad. Did we tour one of yours before? They said I built a mall. Oh my god, it's a mall! Oh, this is cool. The Evergreen Mall. Your source for the latest fashion or vintage thrifts, delicious bubble tea, and adorable craftables. They've got a clothing store, thrift shop, knits, craft store, and a bubble tea shop. They've also got a splash pad. That's so cool. Okay, it's in Evergreen Harbor. A whole mall. Oh my god, we've seen so many cool things today. It really is amazing, isn't it? You did a mini mall too? Really? That's so fun! That's so fun. Alright, let's take a look. It's all Dan's fault. He bought the Peppa game. You're right, it is Dan's fault. Look at this! This looks like a mall as well. Look at this splash pad. We got some food stands and some places to sell craftables. There's some chairs. There's a bike rack. I love that. We got some picnic tables. I love all the signs and like the different styles. We got some pride flags out here. What is that from? Oh my God, what is that from? Hello? City living? Oh, I've never used this. That's great for this. We got another cool sign over here. Is that also from City Living? Oh my god. I never use these. Okay, write that down too. Write that down too. How did this shell work since it says puzzle? Basically, the room or the, the shell was a bunch of different rooms. Like the rooms were puzzle pieces and the idea was to try and piece them together somehow and make it into something. So everybody's is very different, um, which is quite cool. But yeah, there um, it was a puzzle in that it was all different rooms that you would puzzle piece together. <laughs> this is really amazing. Okay, let's look inside. So in here, it looks like a mall, oh my god. You walk in to like a little entrance with the plants and the seating and the tile, that's so realistic. They've got an elevator. Uh, it looks like over here, this is the knit knitting store. So they have like all these little craftables and, and knitting supplies in this room. Uh, over here on the left, we've got that thrift store clothing store that you can look at. I love how there's models in the front too that you can see. There's also, it looks like maybe another clothing store back here. And there's also a photo booth. That's so cool. Upstairs, we've got some more mall hallway. I love how they all have different like, um, like awnings over them. There's some bathrooms with some pretty green swatches. This is the upstairs of the thrift store. No, you know how like in real life, these department stores are often two stories at malls and then you can enter from like the first floor or the second floor. That is so realistic. This is like such a real department store. <laughs> and then over here, there's the boba tea shop. That's so cool. What a fun idea to make. That's really cool. It looks so realistic also. And they built it on console. Wow, that's awesome. It's hard to build on console. Console is difficult. 
So that's really impressive. That's amazing. Again, we were talking about this earlier, but I, I love community lots that are like multi-purpose and, and multi-functional, you know? So when there's community lots that are stores and, and they're also a, a like boba shop and they have multiple things, I just find that, and it's also a splash pad, you know? It's, a, it's so useful for coming with your Sims because we don't have that many lots. So when you can have things that have more than one function, so good, it's so good. That's amazing, what a great job. Okay, I will say, I don't know how much longer I'll be live on stream here because I'm starting to like not feel that good. <laughs> so bear with me, uh, but we'll see how many more we can get through. Uh, the next one's gonna be Ellie the Grim. And then their username on the, on the gallery is Simzilla's Corner. Let's take it out, let's take a look, I mean. Oh, they've built some cool things. Look at that, they've got a cemetery, a diner. And this is the shell, it's a house. <laughs> I love, I love seeing people's builds. I just think it's so fun to like, look around on the gallery at, at people's stuff, you know? <laughs> um, this is a 40 by 30 lot, it looks like in Brindleton Bay. It's a tranquil two bed house with a parent suite, a teenager's room, an office, a patio, and a screened in flower room. Ooh. Let's go see that. Let's go see that, okay. We've really seen so many fun builds today. This has been awesome. I am so excited for this week. It's This is gonna be a fun week of streams, I think, chat. <laughs> we got the shells, we got Among Us, we got, you know, horses and such. It's all very exciting. Okay, here's the build. It's cute. It's so fun seeing how different all the layouts are. Okay, don't get ahead of ourselves. This is the outside, it's a blue suburban. I love the bikes kind of like rested around the trees. We have horses. No, not yet. Not until not until later in the week, fairy. But they come out on Thursday, so it's not that far away. Um, over here, we've got some little towels. There's a seating area in the back. Oh, look at this nice patio with the big like outdoor kitchen space. And this is the plant room they were talking about. I love the attached greenhouses. I love, love, love the attached greenhouses. And they have like this weird nook because that was like how the shell was and they turned it into a spot for the trash can. That makes so much sense. It makes it look so intentional to have that like little corner there, you know? Okay. Oh, I get it, Fairy. This is the thing I never know because everybody's been asking all day. So it's like, I don't know if we're joking or if we're serious. <laughs> so I'll just assume serious and answer the question, you know? <laughs> it's kind of been my thought process all day. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. In here, we have a little entryway, it looks like. And, oh, they kept my rooms in the shape that I made them. Hard mode, I'm so sorry, oh my god. So they had these horrible diagonals because of me. So we've got an entryway, and then they made some hallways here. This diagonal became a hallway, too, that goes into the kitchen. I This fireplace from Growing Together is one of the best fireplaces in the entire game. I feel strongly about that, it's so nice. I also forgot that this had a green swatch on these really cute appliances from Growing Together. We should use that more often too. And here we've got living room and some lovely books. Look at all the clutter they put. And back here we've got a little pink teens bedroom in this hallway. It's also how you access the plant room it looks like. And they've got a flower arranging table. The teen has an ensuite bathroom. Uh, down this way, it looks like we've got a hallway with a nice bathroom. They use these pieces very well. That looks really good. We've got an office space and then the primary bedroom. Yeah, you managed to fit this puzzle together really, really nicely. This isn't like very impressive. Shanna, you're playing Stardew while watching, as you should be. You've been wanting to do that all day. Did you just start or have you been playing for a while? Because you've been talking about playing Stardew all day. This is lovely though. I really like this. I couldn't I couldn't do it on hard mode. I didn't even do it where I kept the walls from the, the puzzle pieces. So you are impressive, genuinely. <laughs> this I this like diagonal work is really good because they managed to avoid the horrible diagonals and make it look intentional. So that's really good. Um Oh, do we know what time the EP is coming out? 
Have they said what time it's coming out on Thursday? Because they're not doing a midnight rolling release this time. So I assume that it'll come out at like maybe 1 p.m. Like they normally do. I don't know. We'll see. But I don't know if they've said that. 1 p.m. Eastern. That's kind of what I was thinking is that it would be 1 p.m. Eastern. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's go. Uh, Melanie and Shifa, I mean, thank you for the subs. Thank you all for the subs, by the way. I know I haven't really caught up. I'm sorry. So there's ads about to play, annoyingly, and I can't snooze them anymore because I've been snoozing them too much today. Um, so let me go pull up the next bill while we wait for this. And this might end up being our last one, unfortunately, because I'm not, I'm not feeling that good. It's just so annoying because I want to look at more builds. This sucks. Okay, let me grab the next one, though. The ads have one minute left. All right, that's fine. That's fine. Today's Monday, right? Yes, okay, sorry. <laughs> this whole weekend has been such a blur. Everything, like, it's just everything, uh, my schedule's all, like, <laughs> messed up. Yeah, I think the update tomorrow should be at 1 p.m. also. That would be my guess. Oh, okay. I just pulled up Dramatic Pancake, and it says Mods Shell, which we already did. So I'll pick another one. <laughs> I'll pick another one. All right, skip again. The one that we're going to do today is Julia Cares. Julia G7 is going to be the last one. So I'll get that ready, and then we'll tour it as soon as the ads finish. Yeah. Yeah, 1 p.m. Eastern time should be 7 p.m. in Europe, yeah. Are the tours of shells only today? Yeah, Ellie, well, here's the thing, right? Um, because the horse pack is coming out this week, we're not going to have a lot of time to do more shell tours with, like, you know, everything going on. <laughs> um, so we, we probably won't be able to do more than this because of everything you know because we're playing among us tomorrow at this time and then wednesday is redacted content okay and then thursday the horse pack comes out oh you know <laughs> um well no so jupiter usually what would happen uh this is actually earlier for some people than normal because usually back in the day they would do rolling releases at midnight per time zone so it would come out on friday at midnight so like thursday night when the clock strikes midnight and it becomes friday the pack would come out usually back in the day the past few expansion packs they've come out at 1 p.m eastern time on thursday for everyone so that's actually earlier then it would have come out. Um, like in the US, it would have come out instead of at 1 p.m., it would have come out at midnight that night, which would have been a lot later in the day, like almost 12 hours later. Um, so it's actually like better than the Friday release, um, typically. Because same thing, it would have come out at like midnight in Europe instead of coming out at 7 p.m., you know? No, it's not a rolling 1 p.m., it's a flat, it comes out at that time. Um, so, like, if you're in Australia, it's obviously a different time, but it's, it's 1 p.m. Eastern time is when it would come out. Usually. I don't know if they've said that for this one. They haven't even... This is the thing. There, there's no information. Like, they haven't... As far as I'm aware, they haven't even said that tomorrow is the update, but, like, there has to be an update before the pack comes out. So, they always do updates on Tuesdays. <laughs> it should be tomorrow and those updates are almost always at 1 p.m. So we can make these assumptions based on previous things, but they haven't actually specifically said so Anyway um, But yeah, this way everyone gets it at the same time as opposed to like some people getting it sooner because like when they were doing rolling releases some places would have it before the rest of us so They said update Wednesday on their stream the updates on Wednesday no, say it isn't so. No, no, that can't be right. Tell me that's not true. Say it isn't so. 
Oh my god. <laughs> it's always on Tuesdays though. It's always on Tuesdays. Surely not. Surely not. Well, now I'm scared. Thought it was the 20th. No, the pack comes out on the 20th. The pack is on Thursday. The base game update is what we're talking about. Okay, really cross your fingers that it comes out tomorrow. This is the thing. There's already, hypothetically, okay, hypothetically, as you all know, no one can share early access content yet, obviously. If the update is tomorrow, update video tomorrow, then there's one day before the pack comes out. Are we on the same page? There's already like no time for early access content. So tomorrow I wanna make an update video on the base game update. Please? It's okay, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. But all I'm saying is if the update isn't tomorrow, Lil Simsy is not posting a YouTube video tomorrow. <laughs> Um, cause there's too much going on. So <laughs> no, it surely is going to be tomorrow. It surely is going to be tomorrow. It's always on Tuesday. It's always on Tuesdays. It has to be tomorrow. It has to be tomorrow. Okay. Sorry. We were going to do Julia's bill. I'm just sitting here staring at it. I'm sorry, Julia. Um, this will probably, I think be the last build that we tour today. Um, so here we go. <laughs> sorry, Julia, for making you sit here probably nervous while we're talking about it. Um, but anyway, it's your first try at a shell challenge. That is so exciting. That is so exciting. Um, it's a two bedroom, two bathroom home uh, with a greenhouse and a big backyard space. You had a lot of fun and you're proud of how it turned out. I'm excited for you. That's awesome. I love when we get to tour ones that are like, it's my first time trying. I just think that's great. So let's go take a look. Let's go take a look. Um, and then I'm sorry to get off stream early. I'm not my... I don't feel good. My head hurts. I'm like not thriving today. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, Fradia, I can't, there's no reason they haven't said, but typically the embargoes really vary with um, when, when they are and how early they are. So it, I wouldn't read into it. It's, this has happened before where we had like a very limited time pre-pack to post videos like, um, it's not, it's not that abnormal. Um, it just depends. I don't know what goes into that decision for them, like on how big the, how long the time should be. Um, but I'm sure it, I don't know, something to do with marketing, I guess, probably. But in the past, it's like you can post really early, then it's like you can't post until the day before. So it just, it really depends. Um, so anyway. <laughs> This is Julia's build. Uh, it's kind of cute from the outside. I like the big windows that you've used. I really like this wall of windows, like above the front door and the cute porch. And you guys, you know I love these flowers. These are my favorite ones. Um, anyway, let's look around the back, yeah? In the back, we have the greenhouse. And did you do it on hard mode? Oh, we kept the shape of this room, I think, at least. Maybe it, maybe not. I don't know. I don't remember what the shell looked like. We've got a greenhouse, though. I love all the different colors of pots. That's so cute. That's so cute. I just, the greenhouse pack is so fun. And then we have a pool. A diagonal pool. I don't know if I've ever done a diagonal pool. That looks really nice in the yard. Diagonal pool is a safe bet because listen, diagonal walls suck because you have to put stuff on them, but the pool is safe because you don't need to put stuff on it. That's smart and it looks cool. Yeah, we should try that too. That's a good idea. I like that. I like that. Okay, inside, it looks like you walk in. We have this super cute little dining space. This table with the, the uh, runner on top of it is from the wedding pack. I just think it's so pretty. I really like that. And I love the orange chairs with it. We've got kind of like a coffee nook on this wall. Do you know what? I don't know if I realized that there was this cute color on these cream colored cabinets. I love that. It matches the tile and it matches your chairs. That's a lovely color scheme. I've never used this swatch of the cabinets before. That's really nice. 
around here we've got a really cozy living room look at that this fireplace is so good look at that <laughs> highlight of the build right there that is my favorite painting <laughs> i don't think we've seen a tragic clown painting today so we're ending on a high note that's exciting <laughs> jump scare <laughs> we've got a bathroom down here I don't know if I ever use this toilet either. I always just use the base game toilets, so I never bother with the seasons one. That looks good though. And then upstairs, it looks like we got, a, did I miss something? No, okay. Upstairs, there's like a little hallway. We got a desk, some nice seating and stuff. There's one bedroom. Ooh, this is the second person to use one of these cool snowy escape decals. That looks amazing on that wall. We need to use that decal more often because that looks really cool behind the bed, doesn't it? That's great. And then we have this cute bedroom. I love the yellow rug with the yellow pillows. That's cute too. I don't think I knew there was a puffer sw fish swatch on that. I use mostly, um, I like to use this swatch because I like the pink, but I didn't know about the puffer fish one. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Okay, write that down too. And then we've got a bathroom over here upstairs. You all did such a good job with this shell. This is so nice. I'm so impressed. You should be proud of yourself. Anyone who did the shell, I know I didn't get a chance to get to everybody's, obviously. Um, I wish I could, but there's like a bajillion of them. Um, but everybody did such, such a good job with the shell. Look at that! Bait and gift shop? Come on. That's so cool. We got some castle ruins. Oh, I'm on the wrong shell challenge. Hold on, sorry. <laughs> I'm on the wrong shell hashtag. Look at this one. Oh my God. Yeah, some of you have done like so, so amazing. I, I wish that we could get to all of them. It's so cool. Look at how cute this is. You should all be so proud of yourselves. I'm curious to hear, let's do a little debrief for a second. I'm curious to hear your thoughts on like the puzzle shell as opposed to a normal shell. Cause you know, we did like the little puzzle piece rooms. What are your thoughts on like the puzzle versus a, a regular shell where it's sort of stuck? Had a lot more freedom, honestly. Yeah, that's the thing with the puzzle. You have a lot more room to, to do stuff. You found it harder? You thought it was so much harder for a normal shell? Yeah, that's really interesting. It's a it's a fun like once in a while thing. We wouldn't do it every time we do a shell challenge, I don't think. It's good to like switch it around a little bit. Um, but it's a definitely a different kind of challenge and there is more creative freedom, which could be a good or bad thing. And depending on the, the shape of the rooms, it could be easy or it could be hard. So I think that like, if you, if you removed the interior walls, it would have been a lot easier. If you kept the walls as the puzzle pieces, it's really hard. So that's another problem. Because when you keep the puzzle pieces, you have to think about the floor plan. Like when we did it with just, like when I did it, I, I deleted the interior walls. So I didn't have to worry about like where the rooms were going in relation to other things. I just need to worry about how it looked from the outside. But when you keep them, it needs to look good from the outside and function as a actual space, you know? So that's quite hard, but I removed the interior walls. Not everybody did. It was maybe like, I would say like about 30% of people-ish, like a third of you kept the, uh, or deleted the, sorry, no. A third of you kept the interior walls, it seemed like. That was hard mode and very impressive if you did. <laughs> because it's really hard to do that, but. Anyway, this was kind of fun. This was a fun experiment to play with. A lot of people host puzzle shells. I just had never done one myself. Um, so it was kind of fun to do, but anyway. <laughs> we'll do another shell. I usually do shell challenges about once a month. Um, we were doing this one as kind of like a way to kill time before the horse pack came out. So that's what we built this for. Um, I don't think that I'm gonna post a YouTube video on this just because I never posted a build of my own shell. And now with the horse pack coming out, I've got like a million videos planned. So 
I think we'll just do the stream tour for this one. But uh, this was pretty fun to do, so I hope that you all enjoyed it. Thank you to everybody who built for it. I hope that you liked it. I always, I just, I love these shells so much because it's so fun to like see all of the creative or, uh, creativity and like different creative ways that people do things because we're all playing the same game and we all had the same thing to start with but it's just so cool to see how people take it in such different directions and I feel like I always see them use items in ways that I have never seen before and like I find these swatches I hadn't seen before and it's just it's really cool it's such good vibes and like the whole chat is so positive it's I really enjoy doing the shell tours because it's such a fun like happy experience for everybody. So I hope that you all liked it. Um, I think on that note, I'm probably gonna find someone to raid. Uh, I will say tomorrow we're playing Among Us. So we'll be live tomorrow playing Among Us with the Simmers um, as a pre horse pack shenanigans. <laughs> um, so I will see you all tomorrow for some, some murder and uh, lying and such. And then on Wednesday, we're doing redacted things. And then on Thursday, the horse pack comes out. So, all I'm saying is, I think you're probably going to want to be at the stream on Wednesday. <laughs> what I'm saying is, you will probably enjoy Wednesday's stream. And Thursday's stream, because the pack is coming out. But Wednesday's stream, before the pack comes out, I think will probably be a fun experience. It's gonna be not in the morning. It'll be at the regular time on Wednesday. So four o'clock Eastern time, I'll go live. Just like I normally do on a regular day. We'll go live on Wednesday, um, but not in the morning. Cause I wouldn't be allowed to with the plans that I have. Yeah, I'm playing Candy Crush is what I'm doing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah tomorrow among us wednesday redacted thursday horse pack are we all on the same page <laughs> are we all on the same page do we know what we're talking about here <laughs> and obviously if you miss the stream i'll post it on youtube straight away afterwards so i think we're on the same page okay Excellent. <laughs> On that note though, I'm probably gonna go and find someone to raid. Um, that should be fun. That should be fun. We'll go and find someone to raid then. Um, let me see who all is live. Actually, I know who's live. Emrys is live. My friend Emrys uh, is playing some Sims today, maybe doing a build, and I kinda wanna go there. In fact, we'll be playing Among Us with Emrys tomorrow. So now's a good time to go over and say hi, yeah? So we can prepare for murder. Maybe I can try and get Emrys to team with me. But if you team with Emrys, then you have to team with Momo. That's okay. Whoa, Shella, you're not listening, you're not listening. Shella, hold on, Shella, 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 Shella. How about this, okay? Me and you. They'll never suspect it. Listen, they're never gonna see it coming because we're in a fight about Peppa. You know? Okay, that's an idea. Well, I'll see you all tomorrow for some Among Us. <laughs> um, go say hi to my friend Emrys for me. I shall see you all later. Just so you know, Emrys uses they, he pronouns. Um, and uh, I was playing some Sims 4, doing some building and stuff. So I think you'll enjoy it. Uh, and I shall catch you all tomorrow. Okay, have a great night, everybody. See you later. Bye. <laughs> and raid now. Okay. And where's my button? I can't find it. Stop streaming.